Uh, and three, um, it, it, it is a rent-to-own program, right? So eventually they would own that house courtesy of- So how, how much is so... the tax on, on, on property purchases? Uh, right now it is 30%? 20, 24, it was dropped. Well, so wouldn't they you be dropped it to money? 24. Yeah. We would be, we, we can't afford. Oh, wait, the the, cha the tax changes went in. Yeah, they did. I forgot okay. to mention that. Sorry. Oh, shit, uh, cool. Yeah, it happened as we were discussing mm -hmm. earlier. Sick. I, um, One thing as well, uh, because I'll be honest, this has been pitched to me a few oh, times by yeah, Mr. K and Associates, uh, is that they're renting these homes to numerous people. So you say this is rent to own, but to who? They're, they're literally pitching it as roommates so that you can move out of the apartments. So how does that... And then there's going to be a fight to who's going to own it. Well, no, but it doesn't yeah. even make sense because... Yeah. If you're if the house is 500k and you're paying even 15%, right? That's that's what 75k in tax. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So and who's going to enforce, you know, if the, if you the know... profit margin is only 100k, you're only making 25k on a $500,000 investment? Uh, it's free money though, right? And does that also take into account the increase in property value the more houses that are purchased? Mm -hmm. Cuz usually not to I'm mention... not mention I'm sorry, go ahead, Nakoda. Well, no, no, my only thing was I'm not like an economics major or anything, but aren't REITs usually contingent on interest rates? And I don't think we really have those. Yeah. And yeah, there's I'm no there's no way to enforce uh, like I, I know for certain that the people who have invested in these properties are not getting any kind of money back. So who enforces that? Uh, is that money taxed? Is the rent taxed? Um, you know. Uh, no, Look, I'm, I'm just gonna say I'm gonna say flat out. Uh, no. I kind of, I'm almost at the point of tuning out the rest of the discussion until I figure out how the fuck Mr. K is aware of legislation that none of us were even aware of till it was brought here, and is so yeah, confident that, that it's gonna be passed that he's spouting off to one of the board members about how it's already guaranteed. Yeah, it's clear yeah. he didn't know who I was. The moment I said it, he backtracked a bit and was like, "Well, no, it's something that's gonna be discussed." Um, but he pitched it to me before knowing who I was as something Ooh. that was already. Did, did anyone else help you guys craft this, Max? Um, yeah, my lawyer, Siobhan. Mm hmm. Okay, well, we should probably talk to Siobhan then and figure out what's going on. True. Um, I mean, all of this information and stuff is public, though, right? So, what would be the issue with someone in the public knowing about this previously? Or pre you, said they, you said they didn't. Who? You. Well, apparently he fucking does. I didn't say he didn't. Well, yeah, right. So I'm saying if Siobhan is uh, creating, I guess, legislation suggestions for you and involving people who are in that market. Who will profit who from are it then greatly. profiting from it, biased, that's yeah. probably not great. And they that's already own property as well. conflict yeah. and, yeah, are already doing this, then, yeah, that's just... So what, yeah. what do you what do you guys wait, hold, no, on, well, hold, on, hold, on, getting... hold on hold on hold on hold on Crane, what are you guys gonna do about the problem right now though? Because it is a problem. That the, they own the properties, they're going to buy all of them. What are you guys going to do about that? Does this stop them from doing it? No, it just gives them it, tax it, cuts it, if it, they do. It gives us the ability to afford cheap housing opportunities for people well, who otherwise that do not have the problem. What problem? You just stated the problem is what, how do we stop them from buying all the properties? <clears throat> and then you said the solution is that it gives us the ability to. No, I was responding to Philippa. I'm confused. Well, I was responding to something problem, Philippa said. <clears throat> the problem with the fact that uh, you're stating that they're buying up all the property? So no, basically. Just in incentivize them to do so? What? That's what, <laughs> like what Mr. K was saying to me. I don't know what Mr. K said to you. <clears throat> Uh, he pretty much said that uh, that getting in on this is clever because it won't be taxed anymore because of the legislation. I don't even know if it's taxed anyway. So wait, he wants he wants you to invest in what his business scheme? Uh yeah, he was just trying to pitch that we should get in on renting a property. His uh, he made a pitch to me just like weeks ago. Uh, he didn't mention anything about this REIT thing to me, mm -hmm. but like I said, this was weeks ago. But essentially you are buying uh like a percentage of the house right so like i yes. I, I i i give him you know uh, let, let's say a hundred thousand dollars and this gets me 20 percent of the house he purchased and then therefore i get 
20% of the rental income that comes in, etc., etc. Okay, well, well I got a guarantee suggestion. that Go you'll on. get that money. Uh, I think that we should uh, consider implementing legislation that deals with disclosures uh, by members of the board. Because if we're going to propose legislation, I think we need to be clear about how involved we are with it. Because at this point, I don't know if Siobhan's uh, involved with the business. She's just on board with it. Uh, I don't know what. But I'd like to know. Uh, and legally, I don't know how to get that information. Are, are you basically suggesting that when we propose legislation, <laughs> there has to be like, you know, maybe a disclaimer that, you know, isn't public if it gets voted in, but just available to us, like who has like seen this or helped crafted it well, before? I mean, yeah. because literally in the in the the qualifications to be on the city council and legislation, one of the things that mm -hmm. we wrote in there literally says, well, who's we? <laughs> uh, the federal government, the interim and, mayor and you <laughs> correct. Okay, go on. So, and again, when you guys signed up to run for this, you accepted these conditions. Mm -hmm. It was on the, the sign up on the government website that you're accepting the conditions of the memorandum establishing the city council. And one of the parts in that uh, piece of legislation of the expectations of the city council and its members is that I have no formal allegiance to any other government agencies and or special interest groups which would prevent me from acting in the best interest of the city of Los Santos. So if people are going to have business investments or ties to business investors that would sway or bias their participation on the council and or the <laughs> crafting of legislation, then that's a problem that needs to be disclosed. What's the, uh, what's the, uh, the proper... Uh protocol for disclosing that i don't know we'd have to establish that here i i you know i didn't what, think what, that it would be a problem because i thought that you know everyone sort of agreed to the policies uh well what do you propose gosh <laughs> uh <laughs> maybe public figures on the council should have to disclose their investment portfolio I mean, that's how it works in other jurisdictions is okay. you hold people accountable by public figures have to disclose when they sell or buy stocks, invest in businesses, et cetera, so that their decision making is an influence. <laughs> so how like uh, so I'll be I'm I'm perfectly fine with full disclosure. So the, the reason that I know so much about this is because uh, my boyfriend uh, has been one of the people to invest in one of Mr. K's properties. So but I have not. So, but that's how I know. Like, for I example, know. I'm I, all my money is in Ron Oil. So I wouldn't Same. come here trying Ditto. to, you know, yep. suggest legislation about oil regulation because I'm not kidding. I got $200 in the bank and the rest of my net worth is tied up in Ron Oil stock. Yeah, I don't touch uh, stocks. How, so. how much money you got in Ron right now? Uh, I don't have that much. I, my portfolio is like 23, 24,000. I got four thousand in Ron. I've I've actually bought so much Ron oil, and I've been disappointed every fucking time. I, well, I bought, <laughs> I bought the up, dips. I like, yeah, yeah if it buying, goes below uh, ninety, below you buy. 90. If it goes below yeah. above a hundred, yep. My investments are averaged around eighty-seven. I bought some at ninety, ninety-one, eighty-five. Mm -hmm. I got forty. But anyway, uh, no I, I, this is just something that I hadn't really uh, pondered before because I, you know, I didn't think about. I mean, when I wrote it, I wrote special interest groups in terms of lobbying and stuff to prevent people from taking monetary incentives directly to influence legislation in their votes. But I didn't think about sort of ancillary biases where people might have pre-existing investments and then those business relationships lead to the influence that allows legislation to be selected or cultivated. Yeah. Okay, so your guys' concern with the rate stuff is that, one, it does not... Um, it isn't entirely unique. Uh, two, uh, you don't want slum wards to rule Los Santos. Although, side note, they are currently ruling Los Santos. Uh, yeah, I think we should probably <laughs> regulate them as opposed to enabling them. Uh, I'm for, I'm for that. I think that, for example, uh, I'm not going to propose anything. <laughs> one thing we could do is limit the amount of properties that any one entity can own. A hundred percent. So, for yes. example, instead of person, just say entity, and therefore, uh, you know. 
it would prevent a, a company from buying up a bunch of residential housing and then price gouging. Exactly. Uh, well, well, let's get on that okay. ship, bro. <laughs> yeah. They got, they got a and, lot and of property. They can't have, they can't yeah, have so like gonna, five I'm, properties. So let's do this. I will, uh, I'll add to my list to draft something related to disclosures for the council. Uh, I disclose and then, shit. Dog. Okay, um, I disclose shit. That one, yeah, yeah, that'd be helpful. <laughs> why don't why don't why don't you take point on the disclosures? <laughs> yeah, um, disclose and then I'll, uh, shit, I'll start looking into how we could regulate them. Um, I need to talk to people who know about what's been going on with Mr. K. I didn't realize it was that widespread. I'd heard little things like I knew, I knew PD went like, you know, they split a house or whatever, but I didn't know it was. Uh, yeah, I no. have had section I'm that's not. being rented. Yeah, people. Uh, that's being rented from Mr. K. Everyone all the time. The police own a house that he owns, or they rent yeah. a house that he owns. Yeah, they they rent a house. They don't own it. And they're paying in. Well, what I would some describe of the as an investors are cops. Yeah. At, so, as, as far as disclosure, so I could start uh, spitballing together a, a rough idea. Are we saying investment portfolios slash business relationships you may have? Yeah, I think that'd be fair. Yeah. Yep. I'm just curious, also, and I'm, again, if anyone knows more about this than I do, please let me know. Uh, those are REITs are typically run. In like by a business entity, right? And as far as we're aware, there's no recognized businesses in the city, right? Exactly. That's the other thing I'm concerned about. Is yep. uh, so if 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 this conglomerate is buying up houses and then creating tenant relationships, we don't even have fucking tenant laws. Yep. So what happens if a tenant sues and says that the landlord isn't holding up their end of the responsibility? What is the landlord even defined as? Mm -hmm. Where's the oversight? Regulation. And once again, this is why I'm loath to introduce sweeping concepts because now we got a can of worms of defining yeah. an entire fucking concept of landlord tenant law. Well, yeah, I, that's something that we should be willing to do, though. I agree. I'm just, you know, it's a lot to know that it just exists already before we've even had a chance to discuss it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and I, I'd, I'd wonder. I'd have to. I guess we'd have to get a look at a contract. Maybe I'll ask one of the PD who is invested in one of these houses and get a look at how it's written. I can get it for you and... tonight. Yeah, that'd be helpful. Yep. Okay. Uh, well, I don't feel comfortable bringing that one to a vote. <laughs> no, uh, not at all. Yeah, I wouldn't not, vote not on it. Yeah, it's yeah, nice probably here. best. Yeah. Uh, okay. Next is the... Real quick, because we're still on a similar subject, we mentioned entities and houses. Are we want to at least put a stopgap on it right now so it doesn't get worse? Yeah. Uh, uh, we gotta until we something can for a vote. Yeah, I don't even yeah. know what we'd be voting on necessarily. We'd have to, we have to delay it till next week. I got. We gotta have time to at least write some shit up. All right. Yeah. We investigate. See what the contracts are like. Mm. I don't want to go blind. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Um, the next thing I wish to discuss is, hold on, I'm trying to find it in my, uh, my documents here. Why does it sound like Vietnam outside? Yeah, uh, some, something is going on. Yeah, it's an explosion of cars, maybe? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, well, what's going on, Dakota? What's the dispatch Hold on, saying? I'm listening, I'm listening. Right here. Well, it's stop now. Uh, I don't think there is an active emergency at the moment. It could just be, uh, I don't know if anyone's noticed, but uh, the locals, while we were all gone, somehow got worse at driving. And uh, that's because they're all yeah. driving yeah. faster now. You're not they wrong. They okay, we, uh, we ready for the next one, boys? Guys, In what respect? Mad brick outside. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, Mayoral Amnesty oh. Act. I'm going to share it. Uh, it establishes the uh, the ability for the mayor's office to issue pardons. Can you share it again? Yes. <clears throat> uh, take the, take a quick gander of that, lads. I got to stand up. I don't get it all the way down here. <clears throat> oh, okay. Mm. Uh, go ahead and do it again. Boom. Got it. 
uh, of important note here is the uh, the uh, so I spoke to Malton about this a couple of days ago uh, mm-hmm. to get some actual good verbiage in there in here. Uh, and uh, the second paragraph, or it's not even a paragraph, the second blurb there, uh, a guilty verdict must be rendered in order to qualify for a mayoral pardon with a minimum of quarter time served. So this isn't mm-hmm. like a like a get out of jail free card from the mayoral office. They 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 are there is some punishment that must be rendered regardless. <clears throat> what does uh, having the record sealed mean? I think it means they take it off of their record, right? The punish the charge is removed, the charge, right? Is there any uh, charges that you would not be willing to remove off of a record or sealed? Um, fuck, that's a hard one. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, what do you think, Nakoda? Uh, if I was going to spitball off the top of my mind right now, uh, impeachment and uh, treason would be two that I would not be willing to have it sealed off of somebody's record. Uh, I'm for that. But, uh, those are two good ones. Uh, I, mm, I, I, I go either way on this, but perjury maybe in that category. Okay, perjury. You've, you've lied in the court of law. You know, I think that's a pretty big deal. Terrorism. Terrorism. How sure. About how about all capital crimes? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, okay. So I'm just I'm trying to understand. Uh, so clemency is something we've had in the past in this jurisdiction where the mayor at the point of someone being convicted by a court for a capital crime could step in and pardon the person from being executed. They could stay the execution. Oh, okay. Um, but amnesty is a whole other super judicial concept. The idea of just wiping a record. What, what would be the, how, how would there be any kind of like, is it just pure discretion? Like, how does that work? Uh, anyone got some food first? Yes, I'm allowed. Um, pure discretion on who the mayoral mayor office would pardon? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I assume so. I don't know that I'm in favor of blanket authority. Because then we get to the obvious question. Well, there's a lot of there's a lot of things like, for example, a mayor can be impeached, right? And a mayor can be removed, but impeachment doesn't necessarily con- contain criminal charges or punishment. It's just removal from office. So, what's to stop a lame duck mayor from deciding they don't want to rerun for election, or they just don't want to be mayor anymore, uh, and they just grant amnesty to a bunch of people for favors? Yeah. I yeah, I was more thinking about a person crazy. granting amnesty to themselves or and to themselves. Where that stipulation I mean, oh, is. Yeah. I didn't even think of that. That's another problem. Um. Yeah. yeah that, well, that's the main I, question. I, I was I, of. My vision for pardoning is, is something that I would be able to do to myself. Right, but we gotta, you know, proof it for you know less responsible folks. Yeah, we have to. You always assume the worst of people. <laughs> But I, I still, I, I don't know, I can, how do we safeguard it from being abused in the way I described? Put a cap on the number of people you can grant per term? Could um, be like... To start, uh, at least? Yeah, I mean, that, doesn't that just increase the value of it? <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. That way that just, people pay That just more. means it becomes more, you get more money for the one part yeah. you can grant. Oh, uh, okay, fair enough. So... Uh, do you, what do you guys feel about pardoning in general? <laughs> I don't like the general concept. I think yeah. Same, uh, I, 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 I understood clemency because typically, right, the way I view it is I'm more of like a, I don't know if I've ever had this conversation with you, Max. I've had it with some of you here. Uh, my view of justice is that I'm not really a, a values and morals person. I'm not the person who's sitting up there being like, you're an evil person and you deserve to be punished because you're wicked. Uh, I just think that laws are how we enforce societal norms. So I don't view a drug trafficker or 
you know, a bank robber as a necessarily evil person. I just view them as someone deserving of punishment. For example, I decided one time that I wanted to shoot Officer Carter with a beanbag shotgun in the chest at a traffic stop. <laughs> Uh, I decided it was worth going to jail for the assault and battery charge because I thought it was funny. Uh, and I, you know, accepted the consequences. You went to I jail? Also used to, oh, yeah. I also used to drive oh, around yeah. everywhere drunk driving. I used to speed at 140 miles an hour. Actually, and I was true. fully aware that if I got caught, I would get my license taken away and I'd have to take the bus. <laughs> I accepted those consequences, right? Um, so I, I, don't, I don't have a problem with clemency because I view clemency as sort of society's moral compass right if a mayor wants to embrace the concept of mercy and prevent someone's life from being taken at the zero hour you know on the hangman's gallows that ain't a judicial issue that's a social issue right and that's why i get clemency but pardoning is a distinctly like judicial concept uh that i i don't really align with because i feel like uh, now we're subjectively deciding who's deserving of punishment or not after the courts have already made their decision. Yeah. Well, uh, the, 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 the idea here is that uh, the mayor, the, the, uh, the popular vote, the elected official to speak for the people of Los Santos should have the discretionary ability to provide a pardon to the people that voted him in, the people that he is supposed to represent. Yeah. <clears throat> At a base level, I am in favor of some form of pardon just because it, it sounds like, in particular, felonies are going to be holding a lot of weight with with future things. And maybe this, this is a little cart before the horrors, but in things such as business regulations or ownerships or even just working certain jobs, uh, since felonies are, are weighted much higher, I, I think so there can be what's, a world for what's pardons the calculus? Mm -hmm. What's the calculus of the difference between an expungement and a pardon? Yeah, that's what they're saying. Yeah. They could just get it. Shouldn't they just get expunged? We want to set up that program. That is something I'm going to propose as well. Right. So I'm saying, you know, because I'm assuming we're at some point we're going to install some kind of expungement system. Mm -hmm. So my question is, is what? How does a pardon differ, and why? The pardon is on the spot. It pardons someone of a, a like a particular happening. Right. Right. The. Uh, <clears throat> let's say, uh, you know, they go through the whole court case because a pardon wouldn't be able to be issued until after a court case is concluded. Um, and the whole host of charges that they've been uh, given would be, uh, you know, in, in the eyes of that particular mayor at that time, would be able to be pardoned and sealed. Uh, so essentially it would function similar to an expungement, but without, you know, the the, the fee or the, the process involved in, like, petitioning for it. <clears throat> And obviously, like, when it comes to pardoning, I mean, like, obviously, it's very circumstantial as well. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I think waste everyone's time with a trial. That's how a pardon works. Way. You can't. Uh, so, well, that's I'm, how they I guess, want it. To let work. me rephrase that. I'm not asking like mechanically, you know, procedurally how things would work. I'm asking like, in terms of you as a mayor, why would you decide to pardon someone versus tell them to go through an expungement? Correct. Like what would what? be a scenario that would inspire you to pardon somebody? Uh, someone who is not able to afford the, the expungement process? Oof. And, and there are people that... Someone, someone, like, someone who does not necessarily deserve the, uh, the, the requisite two-week waiting period to actually, like to be surveilled in their, the process of their expungement, someone who that, that sort of punishment isn't really deserving. So you think you think that if we establish a, a procedure for expungements and we all agree and vote on it, that then you should be able to decide when it doesn't matter? No. They well, both, that's kind they, of what you're saying. No, you, you are placing a, a higher value upon the pardon simply because the circumstances are different. They're not, they, they both serve a purpose, and they would both serve a great purpose, one, one along the other. <clears throat> uh, to, just to spitball an idea here, what if a pardon had just a limitation on the amount of crimes someone had? Maybe, like, they can be pardoned, but only if they have very limited felonies um, or something? I, I don't know. Just, just to spitball any idea that could make it work. I think, well, not unfortunately, but I do understand it, if you were to pardon someone, it seems like it would only be to seal something off of their record that couldn't be removed through expungement, which would render us making it only certain crimes are pardonable 
obsolete, if that makes sense. Uh, can you expunge every crime through expungement? Yeah, I'm on. That's where. No, you, well, no, no you can't. So, no. in the past, when we had expungement legislation, there were a number of crimes that were called heinous acts, and those were not able to be expunged. And so, the worry that I'm having in is it feels like we're, uh, how do I phrase this? It's something I run into with the judiciary a lot. Uh, Typically, the reason why we don't do direct appeals to bench trial or trial verdicts is because effectively in a realm where we don't have uh, much div diversity in seniority between the judges, you'd just be replacing one judge's discretion and opinion for the other one. Um, it's kind of just like a do-over. And I guess my concern is, similar to what Nakoda is espousing, is that if we install all these protocols and procedures surrounding expungements and the amount of time you have to wait, uh, let's say someone gets an expungement, we install like waiting periods until they can do another one, that kind of thing. Um, you know, and we regulate all that and we agree on it. Then it kind of just feels like at some point the mayor is just deciding that his opinion is better than what we've all agreed on. Well, what do you do to a mayor that that abuses their power? Well, they they'd have to be impeached, but the Correct. qualifications for impeachment are related to gross incompetence or negligence. And if why don't we uh, why don't pardon, we just add pardon abuse in there? If a pardon is purely discretionary, there's no way to quantify abuse. Yeah, the way, if, how do we if, improve if, it? Well, you guys are all smart adults. You can, if it seems like a serious problem, like a mayor is, or I guess the future council, I assume they'll be smart individuals. They, how would they not be able to determine that someone is just flagrantly abusing but, their ability so to So now we're just, we're just doing the volleyball effect. So we all establish our collective judgment as to what expungements and punishments for crimes are. We have a judiciary that determines if people are legal. Then the mayor gets pure discretionary power to decide if someone deserves to be exempt from the entire system that everyone agreed on. And then in order to counteract that mayoral ability, the council gets discretionary power to decide if the mayor used it, their pure discretionary power wrong. It's just kicking the ball back over the volleyball net, which is what I'm talking about with judges. You're just supplanting one person's subjective opinion for the other one back and forth. You guys wouldn't be able to tell if Darth Sidious was about to fucking declare the Republic no longer relevant. <laughs> well, that, but that's what I'm saying is it's not as insidious, for lack of a better phrasing word, uh, that as you're making it out to be. I'm saying that I think the very nature of pure discretion is in of itself insidious enough. And I don't think there's a way to look at pure discretion and point out when it's used well and poorly. Otherwise, it's just, again, my opinion versus yours. And who's to say my opinion's better than yours? It's not the opinion of one person. It's the opinion of a group of people who have been elected or chosen to enforce the will of the state. Right, but you're saying the mayor has the yeah. yeah. Is it a group or is it the mayor? Yeah, one person's making the veto. That, yeah. that would the, be the mayor, the, not us. The mayor was chosen by the populace, and therefore it represents the interest of the majority of the people of Los Santos. Wrong. Uh, I'll just. I'll just. I'll just lead or conclude with the fact that I think there's a reason why there are branches of government. This is a very good example. Of it. Well, I, I will conclude also that there are checks and balances for a reason and that if a mayor is abusing their power like that, they should be impeached. That is the check. Yeah, but, I'm, like uh, but again, we're, 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 uh, we're just back to the example I brought up in the beginning, which is the mayor doesn't want to be mayor anymore, so he just solicits then impeach the him. To him. <laughs> impeach he's, him. He's leaving yeah, office but it still anyway. happens. Like, yeah. That's what they call a lame duck. It doesn't matter what they do, presumably, because they're not going to run for office again. Yeah. Yeah, there's no, there's no punishing someone who's already on the way out. And then all those people have already had those charges removed, and then you're, you're just kind of fucked. Look, we need, we, need, we as a group need to operate in a forward thinking manner. I I am a I am a reactive, not proactive person. I think that the uh the reactive or sorry, the proactive uh stifling of certain progress in Los Santos is a a, a a stagnant cancerous thing that will eventually drive us back into our holes and be afraid to propose things that will eventually affect the entirety of the people who live here. Uh, not just about pardoning if 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 you if we are afraid to punish a mayor 
or to sit down and figure out a way to punish a bear who's going to abuse that kind of power, how can we, in good confidence, state that we ourselves are not able to, um, like, truly begin to, like, police, like, why are we so afraid of punishing after the fact? That's what I want to know. Because there's no way to punish the action that, that resolves the issue. There is. We can come you up can't... with one, Crane. <laughs> okay, so what is your solution to someone who's a lame duck and then pardons their friend? The council will vote on whether or not they believe he was a lame duck, and then he will go to jail. Under yeah, what crime? If they're, if they're the, a crime that we can come up with! That's my fucking point! We are the power! Then, so then, then we take the guy who was let out of jail and put him back in jail? Yeah, sure. Why the fuck it's not? Double Jeopardy. That's not called yeah. Double Jeopardy. That, hmm. He's not being charged again. It's the same fucking charge. But he was already part. Double de Double Jeopardy is a, a that is a a concept that was established with years and years, hundreds of years of legal precedence. How does that have any place in Los Santos? Yeah. That's a good point. Why I'm are we cherry PD. picking this? I'm gonna tell PD that's they can a, charge us. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, I can get. Oh, I don't know. I, I could give you a hypothetical. Sure. We'll call it the Cornwood Proclamation. If you forget <laughs> oh, to write God. a search warrant, you're still good to go. Uh, no. Okay, so I have a hypothetical situation here. Uh, I find a brick of weed. Uh -huh. A brick of weed has two DNA prints on it. I bring in a suspect, and their DNA print is on that brick of weed. And I charge them for the possession of it because their DNA matches. Uh, so they've been charged with possession of that that brick. I arrest another person three weeks later who also has DNA that matches finding or the DNA matched finding it on that brick of weed. Can I charge that person for possession of that as well? Can you? I don't know. Well, you should know. You know the law. You're a cop. <laughs> constructive position. The same item argument. that someone's already charged for it, though. Yeah, but, but well, okay. Well, that, but how do you how do you yeah. prove the temporal nature of the position? <laughs> Your DNA being on it, right? And so I'm saying, uh, if I possess a gun and then I hand you a gun, you mm -hmm. also possessed the gun. Correct. Okay. Perfect. So we both committed the crime. <laughs> uh i think i think that impeachment perfectly would uh is okay so listen up let's say there's a lame duck he, let's say he decides to shoot off some pardons toward the end of his uh term uh let's say he pardons like five people uh let's say those people are uh honestly even if he does do this like i what's the issue what what's the, what? <laughs> no, what, what like like what what could someone like that? What, what kind of what kind of connections could that person have? What kind of crimes could have possibly been committed for someone? Hold on, hold like, on. Like, like, like what what like the, let, let's, use, let's, use, let's use let's use let's use me with the face tattoo asking that question. No, let okay. How many how many acts of terrorism have happened in Los Santos after the collapse? How many murders have happened since the the collapse? Terrorism, we, 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 yeah, terrorism uh, at least at least one. Isn't two. there one on the docket yeah, yeah, for that? Yeah, there's yes, one on the docket right now. He has not been charged murder? with that yet. I know. Uh, okay. It's on the docket I mean, for it. That murder. doesn't mean he's guilty. Let's just say, let's just say, say one. That. Let's just say one. Someone, someone's been charged with terrorism. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Okay. There was a murder continue. too at Senor Buns. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So we've got one yeah, and one. So let's continue. Okay. I I don't have terrorist connections anymore. I don't have I don't have criminal connections anymore. Uh, what in what right, realistic? Well, no, I, I know what in real in what realistic world? Because I'm I'm a very unique individual. Okay, um, mm -hmm. in what world would there be a mayor that is elected that would would have the ability and proximity to people to actually issue a pardon to someone that would be dangerous to society? Once upon a time, Rami ran for mayor. Okay, and, and almost he lost. won. He lost though. 
but the we should really be thinking corrupt no, but the, mayors though we, we but have. like i mean but we should also be giving the benefit of the doubt because this shit happened five years ago it's good to bring it up but we should also be giving people the benefit of the and doubt. We, we can't live in the past we, we, yes, well but... hold on there is a whole different set of checks and balances for the mayor now that did not exist five years ago mm -hmm. it, it, exactly and uh, the, mm -hmm. the, the 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 ability right. to abuse their power is so Time. minuscule in comparison to what was possible mm -hmm. before what if a request right, for a pardon that came before set up the that city way council because then, we don't and want not just one? There's, there's two people. To there's two. Itself. There's two people talking right now. Is mm -hmm. one person go ahead and then the other go ahead, please? Uh, uh, Philippa, Cantor, Philippa, Philippa has been trying yeah, to talk Cantor, for a little bit. Cantor, go ahead. Sure. Uh, I was just gonna say, what if someone requests a pardon from the entire council? Then there you go. There's checks. Um, uh, we uh, uh I, we I, I, I had initially entertained that thought. Um, the the reality of the situation is, is that a, a pardon is typically executed in a uh, an like a like a hasty manner, as opposed to you know waiting for once a week for us to like vote on the matter, and then we have to research the case as a group and kind of figure out. You know, and then there might be disagreements, and it, it becomes a, a, a more well, long-winded thing. Pardons are typically for lame ducks and capital crime. Typically, yeah. <laughs> but not always. So, I'm, so okay, but so if if we're gearing them not to be towards lame ducks and capital crimes, then uh, it wouldn't need to be hasty. Isn't the isn't the idea behind all of this that we, is, that we have the ability to be the change that we want to be that we that we aren't like fettering ourselves with just uh, like ta bureaucracy tape after bureaucracy tape we we passed like fucking four new legis like laws and legislations here right now we don't need to yeah, I agree <laughs> yeah we've been killing it yeah it's good <clears throat> uh, anybody have food I'm gonna pass out I got food. Wait, yeah, no, I don't. Got, I, don't, I, don't I, have food. I do. I lied. I have plenty, so. Uh, <clears throat> so balance it on your turn. I, I, I think a good idea for this whole pardoning thing would be to prevent a mayor from being able to issue pardons in like the last month of their term or some shit. Or if they're up for impeachment, they can't issue any pardons. Well, that last part, Max, I'm sorry. Hold on, I'm stuck in the chair table. <laughs> sorry, I get antsy after a few hours on my ass, so I have to stand. Um, I think that there are ways to have a pardon be something that it that is something that the mayor who represents the people of Los Santos by majority could use while also in a hasty manner, uh, in, in, in a decisive manner, while also being subject to oversight and uh, the ability to re like review them for a potential abuse. <clears throat> um, case in point, uh, last couple of weeks of their term, uh, they can't issue pardons. Uh, or if they're under investigation uh, to be impeached, uh, can't issue pardons. Just like, like situations in which they would probably do lame duck, duck shit, just make it so that they can't do it. <clears throat> okay, compromise. <clears throat> I don't, I don't want absolute power. I definitely don't want absolute power for some fucking jackass. Like you know, three months from now. Mm -hmm. I, I, yeah, well, I don't think you do. I, I think the problem is, is that you are viewing things under the lens of you being a responsible adult human being. Right. And what I'm suggesting is someone who sat across from many a mayor is that you're the exception, not the rule. So we have to plan right. for not you, Max. Like I said right. earlier, you have to expect the worst of people because guaranteed if there is a way to fuck the system, somebody is going to do it. I absolutely. I, I, I don't like that mentality because it, it's kind of a cynics mentality that puts a... I, a, a, a dark cloud over every single interaction well, that, I, that I will have to do as a government official. I, I, I hate to break it to you, Max. The reason why all the regulations are on you as the mayor right now, the reason why we have a treasurer, the reason why we even have a city council is because, uh, what's the adage, fool me 13 times, shame on me? Uh, yeah. I, mean, I, 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 I went years with benefit of the doubt. I'm, I'm all out of it. Yeah. Uh, I'm not. And I, I am an optimist, and oh, I, God I, bless. I believe in people. <laughs> and, and I, I, while it, while it would be easy to blame those past mayors for obvious corruption or embezzlement or whatever, uh, the the onus lies on the people who crafted the previous system 
that allowed it to be abused like that. I agree, which is why I'm so heavily scrutinizing something that allows pure discretion. And we should scrutinize it too. I agree with you. I, I'm definitely in the position of really wanting to set the city up for success in the future. It's not so much thinking cynically, it's just protections, you know? Just want to make sure that everyone's safe and taken Cautiously. care of. Cautiously. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. So what do you guys think of... Uh... What are some scenarios in which uh, lame ducking can occur? Like it literally, like if they're about to be impeached or if they're on the way out or what? I mean, they it could happen at any board? point. It, yeah, they they could say, yeah. "Oh, this person's offering me a hundred k for this. That's worth going down for." Well, how do how do you prove something like that, right? You don't. That's, that's why I'm issue. so concerned. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's almost impossible to prove. That was my exact point that I made earlier when you said, well, the city council should be able to determine when it's being abused. And the problem is, how do you prove that? And the answer is, it's nearly impossible because it's pure discretion. I got elected based upon a series of campaign promises that I spoke to people that said that I would sit here and I would petition for a forward thinking, uh, 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 unbound to the past council. That, that I would sit here and if I heard talk like this, that I would tell you guys, listen, just because something can go wrong doesn't mean we need to bury our head in the sand and try to pr even prevent any amount of progress simply because something could go wrong. We, we, have, yep. we have more protections now and more checks and balances now than any other mayor in the history of Los Santos. Um, I agree. Uh, I just think there should be some on this. It, it, options, yeah. So what, what do you think, Crane? What, what, what's, what's, what's a restriction that you would like to see on the uh, mayoral pardon? I, I Could genuinely you? do not know how to evaluate someone's ability for pure subjective discretion into a qualitative state that can be viewed objectively because you're you're trying to analyze someone's decision making when there are no bounds to that decision making except for their own mind. Uh the only thing I can think of is that in the past, uh, to draw a parallel, when we have entertained the concept of parole for people who were previously sentenced to life without parole, uh, it has only been considered under the guise of a panel that was made up specifically of uh, the victim of the original crime, uh, a representative from the PD, a representative from uh, psych, you know, it determines the person's ability to reintegrate into society uh, and, you know, and a judicial member. Uh, so in this case, because the mayoral pardon would be extrajudicial, uh, you could say that the uh, mayor could convene a pardon committee uh, and perhaps then would need to justify their reasoning to the people involved with the crime. Uh, and I think that would be a good way to sort of balance the authority, but I don't know that there's a way to effectively balance the authority after the fact. I think the balancing would have to come prior to the action, which is why I, I generally don't know if I support the idea of pure pardons, because I don't know if there's an effective way to balance it before the action occurs. I, listen, I, I'm all for second chances, which is why I've been known to be extremely liberal with expungements. Hell, I, I let Rami run for mayor, and during his term when he was trying to get expunged, which by the way was gonna end the day of the election signups closing, uh, he had three warrants for his arrest during that period. And I, I told him, that. if you don't get caught for those warrants, then technically you haven't been charged with a crime. So I guess you meet the requirements. So I've been seen as extremely liberal, and a lot of PD probably think that I'm way too, you know, coddling of people and way too nice. And so they'd probably think that I shouldn't have pardon authority because I'd be too nice to certain people. Uh, so from that perspective, I I struggle with finding a way to make this something uh, that isn't in and of itself abused. Not not in potential, I mean just in general. I, did, I don't know how to balance it. 
to spitball maybe like a, a compromise here what if the mayor had pardoning power but before you know the order could be signed the council would have to approve it with a simple majority and then that way it's also I don't only think it occurring should be like us. once a week i don't think it should be us okay. because who why are we why are we any more educated on pardons than anybody else mm -hmm. max is right he has he has the uh the mandate of the people right but i don't know why you know why we're any more in a better position than anyone else i, I don't know i i would disagree that you guys aren't in a position for that because we are all elected representatives of different aspects of what it means to live in los santos uh some of uh, people like mr crane are hyper experts in their field um i i don't know how long nakota has been a cop i know edda has been mayor deputy mayor three times uh, Juno was a cop. Michael Simone was a hyper criminal. Uh, to be clear, also, Edda, <laughs> myself, uh, and uh, uh, wait, is it Edda, myself? Edda, and myself aren't elected. Okay. Oh, okay. anyway, my point is, is that I'm just, I'm uh, just saying. Yeah, yeah. The, the, we all are. I think we are qualified to make that kind of decision because we represent so many different walks of life and we have so many different perspectives that when something like that were to come to the table, then we sh we, we, we would be able to review it impartially. <clears throat> so would would the council's opinion on your pardons, would that be uh, something that you're willing to So mayor to yeah, nominates of course. pardons and then the council votes on them? Yeah. I okay. have a question about that. Sure. Okay. Uh, does that mean you recuse yourself from the vote since you're nominating it up front? No. <laughs> I, I, actually, I, 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 I would I would suggest something. Yeah, well, I think I think that uh, I would think that once the pardon's nominated by the mayor, uh, I don't. Well, I don't know if the judiciary should be involved. Why not? Because they they were involved in their case and whatnot. Because we yeah, were involved in the in the yeah. adjudication. What or what if yeah. I was the one that prosecuted it? Hmm. Right. What if this is what I'm saying? This is why it's uh, hard to to yeah. figure out who's who's in an objective place so you either go fully objective which means you need people not connected whatsoever or you go fully subjective which is what i was talking about earlier with parole where mm -hmm. you have the people most informed I, 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 I think pure subjective is good uh, on this case i agree i think so i think the way parole is mocked up could work so we could get the judge who ruled on the initial case the lead prosecutor on the initial case and the victim and so the mayor would nominate a person for a pardon and then would need to pitch to these people why he believes this person should be pardoned. Right. Perfect. It would definitely I think that's spicy, actually that's I think sure. that's pretty fair because then that removes the potential for abuse, right? Because those people are That's good. Gonna, that's as good you know, as we're going to get Twitch. The victim and the I tried to go for the, the, the take a bribe. being able to just pardon right. but no uh So I I guess then uh is this something that we're wanting like Max or whoever to like write up and, and we could see the official proposal next week. Yeah, and we'll revisit it, you know, for the vote. Well just for uh for funsies, why don't we uh why don't we put the uh the the pure pardon to a vote? <laughs> sure. You're talking about like as it's written uh, what you as, as I shared with you okay. guys. Okay. Just mayor 100%. Uh we'll start with me and then go to Nakota. Uh I vote I. I vote nay. Sorry, I'm uh Skip me. I'm I'm re looking at it real quick. Cantor. Oh, nay. Sorry. Crane. Uh, let me review the exact language. Skip me for a sec. I'm very open to another proposal, though. Of course. I just wanted to see uh, what your guys' thought or mm -hmm. thoughts are on this one. Of course. Yeah. Don't don't ever feel upset. I like. I just want to say, if you guys need to say nay to me. Uh, I, that isn't going to. I I, I take. I'm taking this very serious, and I know that. Um, Hell yeah! But yeah, I just. I don't want. This is nothing personal. <clears throat> of, course. Mm -hmm. of course, I'm very open to dis these discussions either way, even if I disagree in the end. <laughs> yep. Um. <laughs> What's uh section three about TBD commencement? Uh, that's just information that we need to uh, fill in later. Like once the the law goes into effect, certain uh, details, I suppose, that would be tossed in there that we would be discussing here. <clears throat> oh, uh, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna know is written just because I think it's uh, extremely broad. <clears throat> yeah. It was, yeah, it was a nay for the same reasons, but you fucking bitch. Uh, Gia? Uh, I. Michael? I. Etta? Nay. Okay, so this this motion does not pass. Uh, it's three to five. Uh, I will work on a revised uh, pardoning method. Uh, and let us move on to the next uh, matter. Shit, now he really wants to kill me. <laughs> uh, the marriage uh-huh. act. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Let me get on the table. Sorry, just just out of yeah, curiosity. Yeah. Wait, the many... marrow uh, out of curiosity, how many things are we? How many other things are we going to discuss? Uh, that? I got like two more, I think. Okay, so three in total. I think so. All right. I'm going to move here so I can share it with everybody. Oh, thank you. Perfect. Um, so the the purpose of this marriage act would be essentially to reinstate. Uh, there was a brief period of time in the past where spousal privilege was enabled, but it was kind of uh, dialed back on because people were trying to abuse the system and come in and be like, hey, I want to marry this guy, blah, blah, blah. Um, mm-hmm. So th- this this act serves two purposes, and that's to establish a, an official recognition from the state uh, for marriages, one, and to certificate uh, them, and to also uh, make it so that uh, spouses don't have to like that would be the one perk for being married is that you wouldn't have to testify against your spouse, which I think is a great idea. Uh, Something that doesn't currently exist in the state. Uh, Something that did have potential for abuse in the past, but it's something that is also, it's very easy to prevent abuse uh, by way of, uh, for example, uh, Kermie and some lady with one hand, I forget what her name was, was trying to get Nana. 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 Yeah, they were, they were getting married, but there was a judge there uh, to officiate. And the judge was like, yeah, you guys shouldn't be getting married. You know, it's, it's really as simple as that. Um, I would like to see judges in a position of power to really go over um, determining whether or not someone is serious about their marriage because they would be receiving a state perk in the realm of uh, not having to testify against your spouse. <clears throat> Uh, and that's pretty much it. I, uh, I I like the concept, but I would like to see a cost associated with it, you know, tax purposes. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. But I, and, I meant to include the uh, the cost in there. I I would like to see uh, $50,000 to get married. What's uh what's legal age? Holy shit. 18. And $50,000 to get the, married. The second and I think this helps with the abuse standpoint. Um I I would not like that spousal privilege to kick in until let's just say 21 days after they get married. Yeah, right. they'd uh, have to that, be married for a substantial amount of time. Good idea. Um Yeah. So we could drop the price down 25k. Um to to prevent, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Um that's more yeah, that's better. We and about 25k only one each. Uh no, we'll just do 25k I think. I, I also keep it in similar of like one child. Like you could only be married once, and a divorce is also twenty five. Yeah, you can only right. be married right. to right. one person at one time. Yeah. 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 So <laughs> essentially, <laughs> this the the purpose of this would to would be to establish spousal privilege. Um, that there would be a period of time after two individuals are married that they would they would not be a permitted spousal privilege in the event of a court case that transpires then, uh, mm-hmm. and they would have to pay a fee to get the official license and certificate. Uh, so, uh, I, 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 just to clarify, I would say 21 days, or there's like a, already like a case on the the docket against because I we know how some of that shit can take a while, right? Like if there's anything yeah. right. pending against them, it, it can't be. But if there's not, then just three oh, weeks that, later. that's up to the judge, right? So right, you know, if someone wants to get oh, married, yeah, it has got the judicial. due diligence yeah. of the judge should be to Fair. go to PD and say, hey, are there any open investigations into these people? Okay, then yeah, just the 21 days then. Is, and... Okay. Um, so this this one seems pretty clear cut. Uh, we've established a fee for getting married, a fee for getting divorced. We've established the uh, restrictions on spousal privilege. We've established what spousal privilege is, and we have established that the state would recognize officially in the form of a certificate an actual marriage between two individuals in the state of Los Santos. All in favor? Uh, I, uh, I have a question. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, yeah. I have a couple <laughs> questions. Go on. Mm-hmm. Uh, trying to speed it up a little bit. <laughs> number one, this is nullified if you get a divorce. Yes or no? The spousal privilege? Yeah, because you're not spouses. Mm-hmm. So, uh, 
yeah okay go ahead you have another one crane my biggest thing is there needs to be some kind of uh rider in here or some kind of addendum that uh disclaims the existence or possibility uh of uh any kind of asset uh splitting in divorce Okay. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not trying to hear divorce cases. None of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. No yeah. alimony. Yeah. None of that bullshit. Yeah, I, I, I was trying to be specific in, in uh, stating that the only empowerment would be spousal privilege, not actual right. like, inheritances or whatever. Yeah. Again, yeah. that's the people are gonna try it because they can. Well, kind uh, of thing. you tell them that. Think well. a, uh, you know, med from a medical standpoint, I know in a lot of um, you know, in a lot of areas around the country uh spouses are kind of automatically the main point of contact for emergency contacts unless stated otherwise anywhere um that could be something that we you know we involve so that this is even more valuable for people to do okay good point yeah i'm good with it i think i think as long as we just include the caveat about uh you know uh inherent legal rights to assets and divorce or whatever yeah, yeah, I, I like it. If it's a, a tiny bit more expanded, it seems like. But I, I, I yeah, like I have it. one more. Uh... Go, so on. Go on. For the for as far as I'm aware, from my knowledge, spousal privilege extends to private communication between two married individuals, and there are third party exceptions to this rule sometimes. Mm -hmm. I think uh, we figure that out in court. I think spousal okay, privilege okay, 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 that's fine. is the default right. So the baseline, as I understand it, is if myself uh, and uh, Cantor are married uh, mm -hmm. and I get, you know, accused of embezzlement, uh, the cops can't use text messages between Cantor and I as evidence. Got it. Okay, those that's, are privileged that's, communications yeah. between a husband and wife. All right. As um, long as it's very, you know, anything specific, else, I'm fine anything with that. else related to. You know, trying to argue about well, the conversation was out in public in a public place, and someone overheard it, and therefore there was no expectation of privacy. We'll hear all that shit in court. Okay, that's fine. As long as I, that's where my mind goes immediately. So that's that's good. Um, I, I'm just making a quick little amendment uh, to this. Yeah. Sounds good. Will you uh, reshare it once it's amended, please? Yeah, I don't know how the formatting will be, but <laughs> okay. uh, no, as long right. as you guys don't care. No, no. So I, 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 I have the fee for marriage will be, uh, to be recognized by the state is $25,000. The fee for a divorce is the same. The state shall certify a marriage after all of the recipient's ha uh, requirements have been met. The state similarly reserves the right to delay or decline marriage between two individuals if a court case is on the docket concerning one or both of, of the individuals. Um. Mm -hmm. Wait, 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 hold on. We we decided the 21 days would just be enough, right? Yeah, it's, because it's active days. investigation. Oh, but yeah, because a judge, a judge is going to check on all that stuff anyway. You, you, yeah. So it doesn't even need to be in there. I'll just train the judges on it. Okay. Um, the state, uh, now we'll write the state similarly reserves the right to... Um, what's the word? Fucking... Uh, Deny? Oh, no, I'm just going to remove this. Hang on. I, I, hold on, just give me a minute to finish. I, I can't think it right. All right, <laughs> yeah. very fun. The Quick, state everyone starts saying random words. Shall serve by marriage to the state. Uh, I makes it mom. so similarly. I feel like I'm uh, being the anyway, guy over here. For twenty one, you're fine, Malcolm. It's literally your job. Days after the marriage has been approved by the state. If, uh, oh, what happens if two people get married and apply. they both have already adopted Either a child individual. under the uh, previous legislation? Does that well, mean, I mean that it the, says uh, per person, so not per couple? So yeah, it is but, per person. Yeah, I think that's fair enough. They would be fine. Um, okay, so they would be automatically like ingratiated that means their kids to the can't family. Make out anymore? Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, no. exactly. Not in front of me. Um, okay, so <laughs> the, the the final blurb that I wrote is uh, in its entirety will be the fee for marriage recognized as a state. Blah blah blah. Um, the state will certify a marriage after all these requirements have been met for 21 days after the marriage has been approved by the state spousal privilege does not apply to either individual <clears throat> um, were I, there... I need to start my phone for sure a uh, were, were there any other uh, concerns that I missed question mark I'm good uh, you have in there uh, the, the, the filing fee and the divorce fee yeah 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 okay it's like previous existing married what people, married people would have to get remarried under the court 
Um, it was just a file. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All marriages are not recognized unless they've been adjudicated under the new system. Mm-hmm. And adoptions. Mm-hmm. You're all orphans. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. Is there like a disqualifier for this? For marriage? Uh, mean- well, okay. Meaning... Uh, two people get married while there's a docket posting, so the other doesn't have to testify against the other. Does that disqualify them? But the yes. judge would yeah. just deny him in that case. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, the judge, right. judge okay. has discretion, yeah. and I'll train the judges on what to look for. Understood. Yeah, Should I include in this uh, a uh, a line about judges having discretion when it comes to actually deciding whether or not two individuals are fit to be married? Sure. Okay. Uh... <laughs> well, it should only well, be. It should only be. It, yeah, I, legal, I agree. It shouldn't. It shouldn't reasons. be like subjective personal discretion. Right, it right, should right. be like uh, the judge should be the person tasked with examining if there are any legal matters that would prevent the marriage, such as ongoing investigations. Yeah. And then there is the limit that you can only be married to one person at at a time, right? Yeah, that's good. That uh, one polygamy shouldn't be allowed around here yeah. anyway. Two, you cannot uh, marry your entire issue. gang to protect yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> privilege of everyone would be crazy. Uh, I know people that would do it. Oh yeah. Uh, individuals' ability to be members of the state. Why is that being wrong so often? That is a really good question. Verdict, maybe. The judge examined the yeah. marriage reserves the right I to decline the individual's ability to be married in the eyes of the state if there are pressing legal reasons to do so uh, and judicial reasons to do so. So I, I wrote, uh, the judge examining the potential marriage reserves the right to decline the individual's ability to be married in the eyes of the state if they are pressing, uh, if there are pressing legal and judicial reasons to do so. Is that fine? Perfect. Yeah, as long yeah, as it's not yeah, discretionary. I don't want judges Very being good. like... I don't like your kind, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my god, uh, yeah, I don't was, was, was there anything else? Mm, can you just reshare uh, it one more time just so you can see the updated version? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, Sounds good. Uh, hopefully the formatting doesn't suck. Uh, it does, but I'll clean up a little bit. We'll forgive you. Is anyone still having that issue where someone shares like uh, a a note or something with them and they can't scroll all the way to the bottom on their phone, or has that been? That's fixed. Well, That's I fixed. Was, yeah, I was, okay. Okay. I was okay with it. All right. The the best way to avoid any problems with shared documents is go to the place where you would have that document on your phone if you were the owner, Shared-a. and then accept the document. That prevents okay. all issues. Yeah, I was having issues getting. Uh, Invoices so I just go to my documents but... and then I hit accept and then it opens perfectly every time. Got it. I think this is good. Um, what? Uh, good. Uh, so in, in the same vein of this, uh, let's go ahead and outlaw polygamy. <laughs> I think that's an easy yeah, one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. please. Yeah. I'm amazed yeah. that hasn't been honest. With yeah. Um, you could just add it as a in this, can you? Okay. So wait, is there any nays to the the marriage legislation? Nice. Good. Cool. Um, we could add it in here, but uh, it would we could just make it illegal. It, what do you, where do you think, Craig? You think we should add it in this, or do you think we should add it in like its own? I think we should add it in this. Okay. Yes. Uh, you know, it's kind of like the shit sandwich idea. We sneak it in here. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> you want to toss it in at the bottom there or something when you go to add it to the MDT? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll find a spot for it. I okay. think you should put it in the middle so maybe people that's don't read it. I'm it's going to be in the middle. Yeah, it's going to be in the middle. That's fine. Uh-huh. That's the shit sandwich. Like that's, that's how it works. Perfect. Um, so, keeping in theme with the other two heavy proposals, uh, the pardoning and the uh, the One Child Act, um, I did have something written up for expungement. Uh, mm-hmm. The issue is that it is a the, the the process by which is something that we probably all haven't been considering this week uh therefore when i were to present something like this i uh it would turn into a long discussion of us kind of figuring out how to do it so instead 
Um, I just want everyone to be thinking about what the, their ideal expungement process looks like. And to so I, uh, I'll just to stop you real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, I got confirmation that uh, the two new sections are being added to the MDT, which is state announcements and city council documents. They, they may not be there yet. It might be a reset. Mm -hmm. uh, so I am going to tsunami. Jesus fucking. Um, I just assumed I you meant. Going, I, I assumed you meant MDT. Uh, reset. Reset. Yeah, yeah, MDT. Yeah, yeah. 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 I've been in this room for too fucking long. Um, yeah. Yeah. So essentially, uh, I am going to something. sit down and create uh, your staff profiles uh, at some point, either after this meeting or later tonight. Uh, and then, what we will all have the capacity to do is upload documents to the city council documents section which will only be viewable by us. Uh, so okay. that way you could, for example, Max, throw up your draft on expungements. Ooh. Uh, and then utilizing the functionality of the MDT, we can all make edits. So someone could just claim a color and then write in that color, their comments, whatever. And that'll allow for more, you know, functional communication without having to all be in the same room. Oh, or like just that. have, uh, you know, like bar line at the bottom and then people could spitball their general opinions on it. You know, yeah, exactly. outside yeah. of it, yeah. <laughs> So I'll work on getting all that uh, organized uh, later today. So, so I guess I'll, that's something we expungement mm -hmm. we could discuss throughout the week. Then is mm -hmm. probably much better. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, so think about pardons and how, uh, how uh, we we kind of came to a consensus following that vote that failed three to eight, uh, five. Um, that we want to see a w some sort of group decision after a mayor nominates somebody to uh, for pardon. Um, Thank you. We do not know how we want that to happen because there are certain concerns about conflictions in terms of people who may have be, been prosecuting or, uh, you know, are privy to certain details of the case by virtue of their, their employment with the DOJ. Um, so we need to think about a, a, a way to formulate a group uh, process to issue pardons uh, that have the ability to seal the crimes that they would be getting pardoned for. Uh, it would be the duty of the mayor to present the person that would be getting pardoned to the uh, whatever group is going to be created to take this on uh, to kind of advocate for them in a, a sensible, a sensible manner, not just like, hey, I, uh, this guy, I'm going to pardon this guy for whatever, you know, like, I, 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 like essentially presenting their case for why this person should be pardoned. Yeah, that sounds great. Um, right. uh, the, the, the precise voting group. On that, I don't. That's what we need to be thinking about. Like, hell, you write that shit up, I'd vote for it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I, 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 I would. I, I, I'm gonna have my. What, what I'm trying to. Sorry, Alex. I, I, I'm gonna let you talk in a second. Uh, what, what I want is everyone to be kind of thinking about what that group of people that would vote on that particular person in that particular scenario would look like. So that when we meet up next okay. week, we can, uh, we can spitball in, uh, in, with more clarity. I guess. Sorry, Alex. Go on. Was the marriage act a unanimous yes? Yeah. Yeah, no, none opposed. Sick. Are we still instituting uh, crimes that are not pardonable? Um, we we have not even discussed that. Okay. We oh, that's that's something we could do like in the moment after we get get rid like get through the hard part, right? Got it. Uh, okay. but, but also be oh, think, be, th be thinking about that as well when we meet. That's part of expungements, also. Mm -hmm. Got it. Because we're we're talking about what sticks on your record after an expungement. Okay. Right. Um, cause there are, there are certain crimes in the past that, you know, terrorism, yep. treason, et cetera, that stuck on your record. Yeah. Through it so much. Yeah. However, that being said, personally, I'm open to arguments either way, because the whole reason why those crimes stuck on your record was because expungements were fucking handed out like candy. Yeah. So if expungements are much harder to get and more scrutinized and more, you know, time gated, for example, then I might, I might not agree that expungement, that heinous crimes could always stay on someone's thing. In fact, mm -hmm. uh, five or six years ago, I was thinking about passing an amendment to the legislation that said that if it had been over, you know, nine months or something since the offense, Old people act that the I think we're going to say that one because this meeting so went on for I'm so long. I'm open to discussion either We've way. Been here so for I don't want to give any illusion that I think it necessarily needs to be a thing. Okay. I'm going to save that for the next Even one. I got an expungement. Oh, really? Oh, really? Same. Yep. Oh my god! I, I got expunged because the government collapsed, guys. <laughs> I was only for jaywalking, <laughs> but I didn't want it on my oh. record anymore. Uh, oh, yeah, well. I, I, let me just say, I, I'm first of all, thank you, Michael, for being here. Uh, I know, I know, it's been hard. Yeah, are you alive? Yes. God yeah. damn it! Yeah, are you okay? Fucking... Sorry, there, Michael. 
Yeah, we're about at the four I'm still hour breathing. Mark right now. Kind of. It's fine. <laughs> That's so, good. Yeah. That's That's good. good. We believe in you. Thank you, Alex, for taking notes. It's a very important job. Thank you, Crane, yes, for your, for, you for so your wisdom, and thank you, everyone, who provided their their opinions and insight. Uh, this is a very good inaugural uh, council meeting. I think it proves that. Hey, hold on. on. What? Where's the old yeller? Uh, uh, well, I'm going to revise that one for uh, next week. Present your <laughs> ideas, coward. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 no, no, no. I'm, 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 I'm next. I'm you lily livered <laughs> son of a bitch. No, 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 no. We're, Ten we're, toes, motherfucker. We're, I listen to rap music. We, 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 <laughs> yeah, we do, we, we're do. we doing that shit next week. Stand on business, asshole. <laughs> oh, we're, we're doing that shit next week. Uh, we've been here for four hours. I don't. Uh, we got we got stuff to think about, homework to do. All uh, right. Um, He'll throw that shit in the MDT, I'm sure. Um, uh, Crane, thank you for updating the MDT with all the new shit that we did decide yes, to do. Yes, thank you. Um, yeah, I'll work with Alex and I'll put everything in. So, good. whatever uh, didn't get drafted, uh, I think the only things assigned were Max. You're going to revise and put into City Council docs the things that we didn't vote on. Mm -hmm. uh, Malton Whoa. is going to do the first crack on which one, Malton? I'm just gonna call it Council Ethics. Right. The uh, oh, the the civilian oversight board. Yeah. No, no, no. D uh, no? Disclosures, too. The council. Disclosures. Yeah, there we yes, go. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oversight we board, got, we got some, and then we got some yeah. tough yeah. conversations to have with some people after this shit. I need to talk to you after that. We, we got to talk to Malton. Way. We got to talk to Siobhan. Okay. okay. Uh, well, good okay. shit, everyone. Okay. I, 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 I think this proves, Four hours, baby. this proves that we are able to work together and that the, the people yeah. voted correctly. <laughs> yes. So good work. Got a lot done. Good shit. Sick. Meeting adjourned. All right, let's get out good of here. Shit, guys. Bedtime. Good night, Michael. <laughs> I'm gonna carry Michael out. Michael, sweet dreams, my dear, sweet dreams. You going to the yeah. royal room? I'm gonna sleep in my office. Get rid of the paper trail. Oh, yeah, um, no, I will I'm just in it after yeah. I talk to Nakota here. Yeah. I don't think I signed anything for. I I'm taking a little piss break. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dip. Mm. Okay. What are you up to? Uh, I gotta call some people. <laughs> I, mm -hmm. A lot of people. Okay, tell me, talk to kinda, me. Kind of pissed off. About Don't go into my office. Okay, oh, man, if Malton had voted yes in that fucking pardon shit, there's I nothing know, that could have done. I know, I know, I uh, know. I am furious I'm about so, that. I'm so pissed about that. And like, I, I, I wanted to say more things, but you, you, uh, you, like, you no, it's articulated fine. better than I could have <clears throat> ever articulated it. But like, oh, it frustrated me that like it kept going back to like. They didn't uh, specifically say it, but they were clearly referring to the past. Like, why can't we just push fucking forward? Why can't we, you know, just go on with it? Like, uh, why are we being held back with this shit? Why can we not implement things like punishments, like you were suggesting, rather than, I don't know, pussying, pussying out? I don't know. Um, the uh, document probably could have been written up a little bit better. I should just do this shit myself from now on, I think. <laughs> Uh, yeah. and then, uh, I can, if I do it myself, then I can present it to, then I can present it to, uh, someone like Crane who can legalize it up if, or pretty it up if it needs to be. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. well, I'm going to go piss in the, uh, healthcare Perfect. office. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, call me if you need me. I'll be around for a little bit. I just, that was four hours. I need Yeah, go take a, else. go take a break, dog. All right. Appreciate you. Blaming Siobhan. We're not blaming Siobhan. Um, they literally got hung up on the, the, the TBD section, right? Uh, just because it was, and that was the, ju the justification for it not being finished, even though I gave a pretty good explanation as to why that was TBD. Like, the idea of a, of a commencement section in that would be like, hey, you know, what, what are some things that the council uh, discussed? in the the commencement of, it, of making this a law right um sick crane was not gonna prove that either way well it doesn't matter if he approves it or not <laughs> because we would have had a majority of malton voted yes because i am the tiebreaker uh and i, I think uh Veto get fucked? What do you mean vetoed? <laughs> what do you mean vetoed? Maybe get vote promises behind closed doors to prevent setbacks like today? That's the thing. We did talk to Malton behind closed doors. 
And he said he would vote for the ability to pardon, so. Uh. Ah! Need a 6 8 supermajority or Crane can overrule. That is not how that works. That is literally not how that. That it is? It is not. And look, I'm not going to waste my time explaining it to you. Um, it has been explained on stream before and explained in multiple places. Um, I'll be, I'll be right back. Sorry. One sec.
I'm back. Oh, jeez, Louise. Yo. Yo, what's up? Uh, you are not around tomorrow, are you? No, I could be late, though. Around the time uh, we're usually around. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, if anything, Monday. I kind of want to set up an actual meeting in person. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. We can do it on Monday. All right. On mon All right, on Monday, so around... When the council when... meeting started today? Okay, yeah, that works. Okay, sounds good. Uh, All right. Th thanks for having my back in there. I'm uh, I'm I'm going to present a revised version of the uh, the peer pardon idea. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like your support with that. Uh, it will be more fleshed out, and uh, I will be able to state my case a little bit better. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I, I got you. Like, I, honestly, I, I can see from both point of views, but I'm not too fussed about it. And at the same time, like I, it comes to pardoning shit, and like. Most of that, I've been on the receiving end. I was fucking put in, in max sex, and they threw away the keys and shit like that. So, right. I feel like people need a, a second chance, but also at the same time, like, like I told you, the reason I went into this was to have your back. So, yeah. Well, I, I very much appreciate that because I definitely talked to Malton before that, and it sounded like he was going to vote for what I presented, and then he didn't. So, <laughs> mm. uh, yeah. Well, we got we got we got some work to do. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got time. All right. Well, uh, I got people I got to call. Yep. All good. All right. I'll uh, I'll see you Monday then. Love you, Mike. <sighs> people to call. This guy wants to drink your piss. You want to drink my piss? <sighs> Me? Yeah. You heard that? I heard. I mean, you. if you'd like me to, Mr. Mayor. But anyways, um, I propose speaker system in the city hall for music, ambiance. Um, denied. <laughs> okay, that's fair. It is a good idea. You, you didn't. Yeah, thank you. You didn't respond to my text, so I, I figured I'd come in person. I know you're busy. I'm busy too. Uh huh. There's a war, but anyways, besides that, yeah, I, I just just in case this stuff doesn't work out, um, uh, you know. If you uh, if you had anything for me to do, uh, 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 I would. Uh, I'm just looking for my plan B. <clears throat> sure. <laughs> you have a job for me? Uh, not currently, no. Okay. <laughs> would you consider me? Yeah, of course. Oh, perfect. Perfect. No, nothing's going on with with the Vagos, so that's yeah, okay. I, what's I up with the Vagos? <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, okay, cool. Yeah. Um. Sounds good, you know. Just mm -hmm. uh, text me whenever. It's, it's not me. stream Call, sniper. You know, you got something from me. I know this guy. And uh, yeah, I will. don't mind being a little government, uh, little government devil. <laughs> Who's the the mullet guy? Oh, that's Tater. That's Tater. He's Tater. Hey, Mister Mayor. Hey, Tater. What's good? Well, I like your walk. Damn. Thanks. Uh, what do you guys think? As uh, so you guys voted for me, right? <clears throat> Oh, yes, sir. I voted you for you five times, Mr. Mayor. Okay. Uh, what do you guys think about uh, a mayoral pardon? Is that something that you, as a citizen of Los Santos, would feel that is is important that your 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 directly elected official would have the power to do? Well, absolutely. And why is that? I agree. Because you're the man in charge, and we entrusted you with our vote, so we should entrust you with a pardon. Okay. All right. Good. Is that, is that the right answer? No, if that's the answer that you believe is to be oh, true yeah. to your heart, then yeah, it's the right answer. Absolutely. <clears throat> and you should be able to pardon yourself, too. Okay. And give yourself another term or two. Unfortunately, I have to make some compromises. <laughs> and included in that is not being able to pardon myself. Um, I, well. Uh, Judo, I'm going to be. So we. Oh, I got to call Crane. So you know how we were talking about. Um, coming up with a like a group pardon decision or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna write up a uh, a from the heart proposal for uh, to petition for 
uh, peer pardoning, and I'm going to include some restrictions in it. Uh, okay. So that uh, before we actually go over Should the... Should we talk about this privately? No, I mean, because this is something we... that they're going to hear anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Oh. Uh, I know, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, we, we, we can leave. I just wanted to, you know, see you, Mr. Mayor. Your presence inspires me. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, Juno. Hell yeah. Yeah, Alrighty. me too. Let, let me know. I, I could really use a job just in case. All right, let's go. I gotta call Korean and ask him about the uh, the MDT changes. Let's use my office. Hello. Hey, so you you know how you uh, said that there are going to be two sections added to the MDT uh, soon? Yes. Uh, the, the council legislation is going to be publicly visible, right? So there's two uh -oh. sections. Mm -hmm. Legislation is where we're going to publish anything that we agree on and vote on and publish, right? Right. There will be another section called Council Documents, which will be internal to us, which will be where all of our drafts will get dumped. Okay. So in the in the midweek, a city councilor can log on, open the MDT, yeah, 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 yeah. and read the drafts and make comments and edits. Okay. I just need to be sure because I want to make a little state announcement to kind of summarize what we did today. Uh, and I wanted to throw in a little addendum that it will all be publicly visible uh, soon. <clears throat> yes, uh, the the you could just say the the public access MDT uh, will bear all the legislation that was approved. Excellent. Um, yeah. Good meeting today, bro. <laughs> yeah, it was but, good. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna po I mean, today taught me that I need to polish up my work a little bit, and I think you're gonna be very excited for the Midsummer Act. Uh, next Saturday. <laughs> oh Lord, uh, I'm more. I'm. I'm be honest with you. Uh, I'm with Etta right now, Max, and I'm looking at the contract from this Section K, whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty concerning. Oh, uh, what's concerning about it? So, <laughs> so first off, first off, there's the concept of the landlord tenant stuff, which is somewhat reasonably handled, but then uh, there's guarantees Hello. about revenue interest holdings, as well as reserve funds. First week's Hello. rent collected from tenants will be held in a separate reserve fund account maintained by the management. Oh. This one will be used for legal oh. retainers, which is weird because that insinuates that now the management and the tenants are in alignment legally, but they're not because they have a separate relationship. Right. So I don't know if that means that it's a legal retainer for management that the tenants are paying for, which is fucking weird. Um, and then miscellaneous costs related to property management and maintenance. Uh, but if they're paying that, does that part of the rent to own? It's not really clear. Okay. Yeah. And then it talks about buyout clause. Okay. So you can, management has right of, of first refusal when it comes to selling your interest and I, i'm not really sure what what your interest gets you because if it's rent to own and it's distributed 10 percent among six investors the management entity still owns 40 percent of the house so I, I don't know how it's rent to own i don't know either and then it's it says also in here the management entity shall retain a 100 percent ownership interest in the property what it says is that the, the, the investors own revenue interest, not ownership. So I'm So where where are you seeing this document? This is this is the this is a, a, a handbook that was given to Etta when her what is it, Etta husband, boyfriend, sorry? Her when her boyfriend bought into this investment opportunity. Okay. And so this handbook has like full on it also, uh, yeah. I, there's a whole lot of questions here. Right? Mm -hmm. Well, wait, wait, what do you want to do with it? I have no <laughs> fucking idea. I mean, I didn't know it was this deep. This is like, I mean, well, shit. We're talking about, you know, how are we going to regulate and decide who gets to, you know, run a restaurant? How much money we're going to charge them? This is a whole whole other beast i mean the, this is i mean this is wild this is like <laughs> I, I don't even know how much i would want to charge a company like this i mean god damn not to mention 
is this even legal for them to operate like this without a license? I mean, and what kind of oversight would you need to be a landlord? <laughs> and how do we enforce it? Who who checks in and makes sure it's not being abused? I mean, it's it's a whole can of worms. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to review it, but I mean, I did not realize it was this deep. Yep. Uh, I don't really know too much about it, so. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, well, I guess I guess we should probably talk to Siobhan at some point because it sounds like she has the most understanding. Yeah, I think she's uh, she's repping them. I'm pretty sure. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, we should probably have a sit down with her and her clients to really understand them. Maybe we invite them to the next council meeting for an interview or something. Good idea. Okay. Uh, well, you see her more than I do, so maybe you can coordinate that. Yeah, I, uh, I'll talk to her right about, uh, about it right now. All right. Cool. See you later. Bye. Hi. Bad news. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm an investor in Section K. Okay. And I own part of the business. <laughs> okay. But I think I need to unown part of the business moving forward. <laughs> okay. Um. So I need to do that now. <laughs> okay. What do you need from me? Do you need anything from me? No, I'm good. I just got phone calls I gotta make and shit. So if you got shit oh. you wanna do, then. Uh, I'm waiting for Vito. I thought you were gonna ask me for money or something. I'm... No, 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 no. Hi. I'd give it. Greetings. I only have, like, 20k. Yeah. Are you are you alive after what four and a half hours of of, of meeting? Uh, yeah. <laughs> do you need to stretch your legs? Yeah. Yeah. How are you okay? You sound defeated. Did it not go well? Uh, there's just some bad news that we got. What's go the bad over. news? Oh, it's bad. <laughs> How bad? Um, <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you want to talk? Um, where are you? I'm downstairs in the uh, city hall talking to Sebastian and Xavier. Um, just doing legal stuff. Meet me at the parking lot where I pull out the land stalker. Okay, I'll see you there. All right. Love you. See you soon. Love you. Bye. Uh-oh. <laughs> You'll be okay. I believe in you. I just, I don't. Oh God, it's not good. <laughs> it's not good. Especially get, get if, if they're going to look into that. It's not good. <laughs> you're okay. It's honestly, it's it's so early to even, <laughs> you know, have anything hit the hay this quickly. It's a it's a learning thing. It's a learning curve. Yeah. And I I, I think a lot of people will have a lot of leniency with with. I with do own like shares. This. Especially considering this is like only one thing out of the many that you've done good. Yeah. The my hope is Just that it, my hope is that I will be able to articulate that because uh, you know Crane brought up the uh, the agreement that we apparently agreed to right. Yeah. Uh, my hope is that I'm able to swing it in such a way then, that it, it was it like. Then why don't we sit down and draft up some bullet points and notes that you can expand on, and we can just review it. Think of it, <laughs> think of it as a script, basically. Yeah. And we can explore all options. I mean, you know me; I'm an overthinker, so I always try and think of like the best solution, and I think of all the the, the pits in the road. So. You'll be okay. And with Shiv as well, you know, uh, the three of us working together to make this sound good, I, I think you'll be fine. My my hope is that because that reach shit didn't actually go to vote, then I, I'm technically not representing the interests of another Yeah, it'd group, be right? really weird. It'd be really... Uh, but didn't, didn't Crane, like, mention, like, shit like that? Like, you can't... I, I don't know. Uh, hmm, this is a tricky one. We'll figure it out. We'll, we'll completely figure it out. Say that, you know, it could even be something as, like, simple as, like, a misunderstanding. Mm hmm It doesn't need to go deeper than that. Yeah. I gotta go meet Siobhan, because she, right. she, she is involved. Have, have, oh, yeah, yeah let's I'll go. You. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I'm exhausted. You did well, though. Like, you did exceptionally well. I don't want you to think that your time and your effort was wasn't impactful or good you think you think that went well i think you did amazing like you asked the right questions there was resistance sure but with anything there's gonna be resistance 
You brought up things that I highly doubt others would even fucking think about. You are taking in the- you're considering other people's, uh, opinions and such as well. Their imp impressions of, of things. Which already makes you infinitely better than all the other mayors before. Because you're actually fucking talking to people. I guess Doyle finished our song. Nobody cares about the freaking mayor, man. Hi. Hey, how's it going, guys? Hey, it's me, the mayor that you don't care about. <laughs> hey, oh, it's oh. me, the chief of subs that you don't care <laughs> it's about. It's me, the newest judge, the Jingle of what? Fan. Judge? Yeah, man, he's yeah, a man, judge. I'm a judge. <laughs> I'm following in my brother, uh, Judge Ingle Dan's footsteps. Are <laughs> 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 oh, oh, God rest his soul. God rest his soul. Oh, may he rest in peace, man, you know? <laughs> uh, I don't know who that is. <laughs> God, he's a veteran. One he's a war hero. One of the most time, man. One of the most inspirational of the Dan family. God rest his soul. Oh, he's a hero. But Not hey, man, that's far. four. That's four. Four for four, baby. Okay, well, uh, welcome aboard. Oh, thanks, man. The Fingle, I'm pretty Fingle, excited, uh, Dingle man. fan, you said? Yes, man. And uh, who? Pringle. Pringle. Pringle what? Pringle Dan, man. Okay. Um, I'm a doctor. I'm Max the so Red the Mayor. Need some organs, you're a, do you're a doctor. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> uh, I'm Max the Red the Mayor. This is Juno Sweeney, the Chief of Staff. Hey, nice to meet you, lady. Oh, she's busy. Nice yeah, to we're too. very busy. Uh, well, All right. you guys That's cool, man. go inspect your new uh, your new digs. Yeah, we're checking it out. Enjoy. It's yeah, nice man. Right here. Look, look. Hey, keep that shit tight, Mr. Mayor. Yeah. I will. As <laughs> we're doing business with you, Wakes. <laughs> I don't know, man. This is a waiting room, man. <laughs> right, I'm going to meet up with Vito, and then um, let me know how your book with ship was. Okay. Um... Obviously, we're both not around tomorrow, but if you absolutely want to come around tomorrow, just let me know. Um, I don't think we have anything set for tomorrow. Yeah. We good. Whoa. 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 <sighs> oh my god, this is fucking Bobby Charles, man. I found out what Wait, comes let me know my if way, you want to drink my way. Way. Oh, All right. Like okay. Okay. Go to local library, have a beer. Um, yeah. Hold on, I gotta talk to Alex. Uh, hey, hey, Max! Supreme I'm Overlord! Max, hey, Hi. <laughs> I gotta What's hang up. up. <laughs> um, do, do you have a full list of uh, everything that we passed and how we did it? Uh, I'm TLDRing a list. Uh, can do you have my phone number? Yeah. Can you text me to, to me when you're done so that I can uh, make a state announcement about it? Okay. Uh, you want like the things that have been actually the things passed, the things passed? of the past. Okay. Mm -mm. All right. Uh, let me clean up this list a little bit then, because that's what I'm working on right now. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. You have my right. phone number, right? Yep. Okay. Good. The Supreme Overlord. They're ready to be chopped off. Uh, oh, yeah, look, I'll talk to you later, Bobby. I got some shit I got to do. <laughs> Is it good news? Um, Maybe for your testicles. <laughs> Hi, boys. God damn it, no. <laughs> yes? Any chance that there's any idea of uh, trespassing legislation going on your desk anytime soon? Is there not trespassing legislation? N not really. Basically, I got a guy who is, continues to cause incidents at Senior Buns. Senior Buns wants him out, but the police can't do anything because it's a state-operated business. Hmm. So we need legislation for trespassing. Okay, I'll, make, current I'll make a note of it. Yeah. All right. Appreciate that. It's just, uh, you know, they're going to start just stabbing the fuck out of people, if, you know, when he's around. So it's kind of a problem. Got it. I wrote it Appreciate down. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. 
ba 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 ba. I did make a note on the Trello board. Hey. Uh, we got some shit we gotta talk about. <laughs> All right. And I I don't mean to do like the girl thing where I'm like we need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, girl thing? That's a girl thing to do, is to be like... Have I ever done that to you? No, and you better not, because I fucking hate that shit. <laughs> but first... And I, 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 I wouldn't preface it all weird, I would just be like, So, some stuff going on. Chat, chat, chat. That would be... Uh, I got a gift. <gasps> what? Mm-hmm. Uh, it is a... DJ Doyle song. What? I think it's the one that we provided our vocals. <gasps> what? I want to hear it. I'm so excited. Yeah. All right. Hang on. Let's uh, listen to it together. Okay. I'm so hype. Oh God. How do I get to zero without starting this? Okay. We want to start at the count of three. Count it down. Yeah. Yeah. Count us down. Okay. Uh, three, two, one. No, he, he, it doesn't have uh, Jamal's vocals. I did tell him I wanted the hardest drop of all time. Oh, I feel like we're building to it. Oh my god. <laughs> Shout out to everyone in chat that called me stupid as fucking that I never read, by the way. Uh, vasectomy? Please? voice samples yeah we gotta get Jamal to finish it always bet on the thoroughbred <laughs> what it ends with me that's hilarious oh my god <clears throat> we gotta wow. we gotta get a uh, it's missing the Jamal vocals it is missing Jamal vocals I thought Jamal was supposed to do some sort of intro bit yeah uh Maybe he's around right now. Let's 
a good gift. Okay, well, that's the preface to the bad news. All right, yeah, good news and then bad news mm. after. All right. Did you uh, did you tell Mr. K about the read act? Uh, I mean, I I I had brought it up to him initially, um, but you know, I told him that I have to get past and everything. Uh, but it's not like a sure thing or anything like that. Apparently, he ran up to Cantor, uh, the lady on the board, and said that it was already passed. What? Yeah. Why would he say that? I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. Um, and, what the actual fuck? And that raised some concerns on the board that maybe I was being influenced by outside, uh, or that it was insinuated that counselors and the mayor should not be influenced by stuff like that and that they're going to be looking into um what's the word um uh making making counselors disclose uh stuff so that they aren't um being influenced by special interest groups is what they're called a disclosure of they investments. They want us to declare lobbyists. They want us to okay. They want they want us to do financial disclosures. Yeah. So I we need to clean up my act, <laughs> like ASAP. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it's a really good thing that um, okay. I had invested in, in Mr. K's property, right? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. very very early on before any of this was even a thing. Back when he was looking for people, right. you know. Right. Um, but I did it somewhat recently, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was in property, not in the not in the company itself. That's just in a, in a, in a property investment. But don't we own part of the company now? Not in writing, anywhere. Really? Yeah. So do you think I need to um, get my money back? So that was for an investment, though, for property, not for. But their their concern is I that I see what you're saying. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Um. Technically, I have a vested interest in that because I invested money in it. And it the read stuff would have applied to them. Specifically. Are they saying it's some sort of like insider trading bullshit? Um, it wasn't said out loud explicitly, but they were. It was kind of like a a he petitioned Malton to begin a process by which to get people to disclose their stuff on the council. Yeah, there literally are not enough people in this fucking city for this to be like this big of an issue. Um, they're also concerned about. Um, Mr. K's slumlording, <laughs> uh, because then that was brought to the, the their attention after uh, I brought up the read act, which by the way was pretty much shut down completely. Um, yeah, I'm not surprised That's, uh, at this point from what you just shared with me that that would be the natural reaction. Um, you know the people who are not listening to your suggestions. You know you don't have to support theirs in the future, and that you know we could put them on a list. Um, yeah. I do know that. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, almost got the ability to pardon past, except Malton flipped at the last second. What? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> the last second, he flipped? Yep. What a little... I'm, I'm not pleased right now. This is my one fear about Malton, by the way. Yeah. Uh, he probably Because had... he used to be a cop. He probably has a uh, reason that he could give me. Um, I think I'm so. Here's what ended up happening. Okay, the one child thing and the uh, the pardoning thing and the expungement thing were uh, not fleshed out enough for us to make a vote at that time. So I gave everyone kind of homework to think about a couple of things pertaining to those. Oh, yeah, they can absolutely be fleshed out more. Absolutely, 100%. I mean, I assumed that the council was going to add their own amendments in there and then want them updated. Right. When um, you reviewed stuff. That's what I assumed would happen. I have no idea, obviously, how anything would go. Um, so I'm not really sure how these meetings should really be going. Uh, there's no minutes. Is there an agenda? Does yeah, somebody that, start with an agenda and then there's meeting minutes? Or is this being run like the inmates are running the same asylum? It seems like... The way that it needs to, or that, it, that it's being run, is that um, we we seemingly discuss some things and then we, you know, other ones uh, uh, are put off until later, I guess. And 
the one child thing was one of the ones put off, but you know, then we I kind of I hashed out the uh, the marriage act, which did go in unanimously. What? We got the marriage act in? Yeah. Oh, that's best. Okay, I didn't even get that. That's the only act I really cared about. Yeah. Um, and uh, we we define spousal privilege or uh, good. Or we we didn't Further. define. We, we actually kept your definition. Okay, great. Um, and we put some we put some restrictions on it and a fine or a fee associated with it. Uh, that Sick. And, that and good. divorce. Uh, okay, the, great. The only restriction, or there's two. One is that uh, spousal privilege does not apply to someone for 21 days after they've been married. Okay, good. That gets rid of people trying to get married immediately. Perfect. I should have added that anyway. That's a good one. Um, it's my fault. We should have talked about it. That's something that uh, I made a mistake of. It's kind of putting the burden of thinking about all this shit on you, um, which isn't fair. So I think, uh, you know, moving forward as we work together on this shit, I need to be more proactive. So I'm sorry. One. Uh, you were just relying on me a little bit too much. Is that what you're saying? Um, That's nice of you to say that. Well, I... Well, you put it that way, it doesn't sound as nice as I mean it. What I, what I mean is, I uh, should have done my job a bit more. <laughs> I Listen, guess. you're kind of like an FDR, right? You're trying to surround yourself with people who are experts so you can trust their opinions. I don't think that's a negative. Okay. Um, well, number, and, and the second thing, the second restriction yep. was um, thinking, thinking, thinking. It was... Um, a, 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 so this is kind of how it already is, but a judge has the ability and, and the power to, um, sorry, I'm so fried after that meeting. <laughs> it's okay. I'm sure. No, you were in that meeting for four and a half hours. I would be fried too. A four hour meeting suck. Uh, I mean, I had a good time. It was constructive. I just, a lot. Sure, but they don't, it doesn't mean they don't throw you out afterwards. True. Uh, essentially, judges have the ability to kind of determine if someone, or to inquire. Hold on, what did I write? Hang on, I'm just, I'm just going to read what I wrote. Yeah, just pull it up. I wrote, so this is what I added to what you uh, you wrote. I said, the fee for marriage to be recognized by the state is $25,000. The fee for, for divorce is the same. The state shall certify a marriage after all these requirements have been met. For 21 days after the marriage has been approved by the state, spousal privilege does not apply to either individual. The judge examining the potential marriage ha reserves the right to decline the individual's ability to be married in the eyes of the state if, they are, uh, if there are pressing legal and judicial reasons to do so. Okay. I think that's good. So I, if like they're embroiled in a court case or some shit. No, absolutely. They can't try to like, marry somebody to be forced to not testify against them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of, uh, what else? So we, we got the marriage pass. We changed the speed limits. We, uh, actually, I'm just going to wait till Alex sends me the list of everything. Uh, the, the only vote that was contentious at all was the pardoning one because they were concerned that people in the future, this is what they said. Abuse it? Yeah. I mean, obviously, then just impeach them if they that's, abuse it. That's what is what the I issue? Said. That's what I said. And they were like, what stops them from being uh, pardoned after the fact anyway? That was their counter, right? Like, what, what happens to the people that were pardoned by the guy who eventually gets impeached? <clears throat> that's what they're concerned about. They can rescind the pardon. That simple. Why? I feel like people are creating made up roadblocks and objections because they're not saying what they actually think, which is, I don't like it. Rather than coming up with real solutions, naysayers and their ivory tower looking down, uh, facing. That's what I said. <laughs> it, was it I, about I, that? <laughs> I, I put it in slightly nicer terms. I was like, listen, you know, I, I was elected on the uh, the premise and promise that I was going to stand here and that if I ever met any opposition that wasn't like forward looking uh, or was kind of, you know, tail between your legs, um, Doom saying cynical stuff like it stuck in the past shit that, that I, I told people I would represent their interests in that regard and that uh, I wouldn't stand by it. <laughs> oh god. Uh -oh. Yeah! You got it. You uh, got it. Okay, so. Champion. Here we go. Ah! Uh, uh, uh. Nailed it. Stuck the landing. Oh, we can probably make this jump now that we have this car. Oh shit. From this side? Alright. The other side's a lot easier. I made this jump. 
the other day. From the other side? From the other side, yeah. I was very proud. We can totally make it from this side. We just have to uh, be going full speed. Full speed, okay. Um, let's go on the beach. Let's do it. I feel like there's a ton of stuff that I need to tell you that I am forgetting. I wish I could have been there. Yeah, I inquired. It was uh, deemed... Oh, that's another thing. Um, you know, Crane kind of, like, asked me accus accusingly, like, you know... Uh, you know, was Mr. K involved in the decision making of like the read stuff and like you know kind of no, uh, you know just it's stuff like that. Also, another another big thing is that, um, and I kind of agree with him on this. Um, we are uh, being wary about importing um, old case laws from from places. Is about Brady. Yeah, well, not even just oh. not even just Brady though, because the the read act also was a. Uh, like modernized, right? It was kind of like the modernization act of 2024. Yeah, yeah, it was derived from an existing legislation in the past. I literally adapted the marriage act from the defense of marriage act. Well, oh, they didn't realize it, so. W. Well, they were fine with that. <laughs> Isn't that funny how that works? So yeah. they just pick and choose because they're fuck. I'm not gonna. Ask. Well, they just don't. They didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't uh, know. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, I had to alter DOMA because it's homophobic. Is it? And we're not. The Doma Defense of Marriage Act was establishing marriages between a man and a woman. So oh. yes. Anyway, I adopted that to not be homophobic, obviously. It was just to, you know, create marriage. Oh. Um no, so that's funny. So yeah, moving forward, uh, we're gonna do the college plagiarism thing where you kinda like pick and, and, and change stuff. <laughs> or or just write it uniquely and originally from the beginning. Paraphrase it enough. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that makes sense. You know, move stuff around, make it look uh, like an original idea. Uh, I I personally have no no problem um, coming up with an idea that would be embodied in something like these acts or whatever. The, the, my problem is legalizing it in a presentable way. So what what I want to do mm -hmm. is I want to propose a uh, a unique bill of rights to Los Santos. Uh, you know, I'm gonna read through this, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna okay. write it in my own words. I'm, I'm going to maybe exclude certain things or add certain things. That's one. Um, mm -hmm. I am going to do that for. Okay, so here's the the big issue. All right. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I want power. Okay, and it seems okay. it seems like uh, the counselors are acutely aware of that. Uh, and that, and based upon the way that they voted, it was me, Juno, and Michael Simone that voted for giving me the ability to pardon people without like a, an oversight. Um, it is a. So, do we have double jeopardy right now? Is that a thing? <laughs> um, uh, technically, no, because that would be covered underneath the Constitution Bill of Rights. Okay. Um, we don't have anything. That, it sucks. I, I had a, I had a good own moment. Uh, Nakota was like, was talking about. Uh, um, I, I we were throwing out hypotheticals about what would happen to someone that was pardoned by a lame duck mayor, and I was like, okay, uh, we could just rearrest them or put them back in for how much time is uh, is like left over. And he's like, what about double jeopardy? And then he started. Like, we don't have double jeopardy. Yeah, he started to cite me like a, like a case, or whatever, uh, like a, like a hypothetical situation in which uh, you know double jeopardy would have happened. And I was like, uh, well, you tell me, what are the laws? <laughs> I was like, Get fucked. <laughs> there's no double jeopardy. So like, um, I even got Crane to admit that my point was a good one because he was, <laughs> he, he was adamant about, um, not importing old, uh, case law that has like a whole bunch of history behind them, right? That wouldn't be necessarily applicable to our state. Um, which I agree with, I agree with. Um, I agree. We shouldn't have things that are not applicable to our state, but we should have some things that are applicable to all humans everywhere. Yeah. So that, that's why we're going to do uh, a uh, Bill of Rights. I might call it something else. What, what, what would be a good substitution name for Bill of Rights? Um, in this state? Yeah. Um, 
I don't know. I sometimes feel like I'm living in whose line is it anyway, where the rights are made up, or the laws are made up, and the rights don't matter. <laughs> um, rules for living. Okay. Uh, Los Santos. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> Fucking. Treaty, I don't remember. Uh, I was going. Treaty of Human Rights. Wait, hold on. Treatise on human rights. Treatise on government. Well, the Constitution was just plagiarized by um, from John Locke's second treatise on government, so let's just plagiarize Locke. Wasn't Locke uh, American? Wasn't he? Uh, was he? Uh, I don't think originally, no, but... Uh, it was John Locke versus Thomas Paine as far as like fighting for like the philosophical philosophical ideals for what would be the foundation of America and Locke won, right? It was so when I say Locke won, it was believed that people are truly good at heart, so that the way the laws are written should preserve the rights of the innocent, not assuming uh, and having innocent until proven guilty because we're not bad, mm -hmm. right? So so the justice system being even designed in such a way where. In it, uh, guilty people will walk free before we put an innocent person in prison all goes back to John Locke and further than that um, the English Bill of Rights and then before that Magna Carta yeah um, so all that sorry you, you asked I went no oh. I love when you do that <laughs> um, that was a good refresher course I feel like I learned that at one point in the old republic, I actually rewrote the Declaration of Independence and applied it to the Senate, and I only had to change the words from King George to the Senate, and pretty much all of it applied. <laughs> so, if you want my thoughts on the, you know, that sort of thing, that's where I stand on it. The fact that I didn't have to change that much should say a lot. Yeah. And I don't want to return to the old republic, Lee's. Me neither. I, uh, we will, we'll, I, I'm gonna write up... Wait, Maxa Carta. Maxa Carta? <clears throat> I feel like we gotta make something a bit less. Um, I'll make it less you. No, I, I would love to have something from me, legacy-wise. Um, make it less dense, because the average uh, inhabitant. Jonathan wrote these, and they're super dense, and they're I. I would have written these in more layman's terms, well, but I, I, I thought I, you I, wanted it like no, that. No, 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 I do, I do. The, what I mean is the name, okay? Because the name is the thing that has to immediately make itself apparent to people. And be, the people who live in Los Santos either don't, most of them just don't give a shit or are stupid, right? So they're going to see, they're going to see a name like the Maxa Carta and they're going to be like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> okay, that's true. all, that's all. Okay, so less lofty on the title, no Latin. Right, exactly. Um... I, tonight I am going to be writing a. I feel like, I feel like uh, Thomas. Who wrote the Bill of Rights? Was it Thomas Jefferson? No, he uh, wrote the Declaration. Thomas Jefferson wrote the cons. Uh, yeah, the Declaration, and uh, he had a hand in writing the Constitution. Uh, I feel like Thomas Jefferson, except without the slaves. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna put quill to parchment no, that's a, tonight. That's... Okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna, I'm gonna write up something that outlines uh, I'm gonna try to aim for 10 basic human expectations and rights um, yeah I, I think I think, oh. I think this is something long overdue for Los Santos too I agree I agree 100% because the old um, Republic's Bill of Rights actually did not, not everything applied and didn't really make a lot of sense and there's actually things in there about like that were never truly upheld or applied like judicial discretion to strike down laws as unconstitutional. So, um, I think it should be redone. Oh, we, we outlawed, uh, polygamy? Yay! Good. Perfect. That so, one, if we kept that part of the Marriage one. Act, polygamy is outlawed. Good. Wait, was that in the Marriage Act? Am I dumb? It was. It was actually in the beginning. I cannot read. Okay, um, so the no, first no, part no, no, of no, the I, Marriage I, Act... I got it, I got it. I meant I couldn't read at the time. Um, between two consenting adults of legal age... The Marriage Act V1.1, where the first part is that the amends the judicial code to provide that no state official shall give effect to any marriage between persons who are already married to any other individual. So no polygamy. Oh. Mm hmm Uh... Okay. 
So it's good. But then we also just formalize it as straight up polygamy band. Good. Um, so, I mean, I mean, we can just leave it in there like that, right? Yeah, no, I think that's fine. Um, what about the, did you present the sin act? Yeah. That one go. Fuck, I forgot if we voted on that one. We kind of got a little sidetracked on that one, I think. I imagine the Fulker exception would have caused some <clears throat> sidetracking or tangents or issues. It, uh, yeah, we didn't vote on it. All right, good. Oh, wait, sorry. I think we did vote on it, and then we removed the Fulker exception. <laughs> okay, cool. So incest is just banned, and sorry, Aaron and Sis. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, as soon as we get the uh, the one child policy passed, which we will after I uh, refine it a little bit. Um, what was the issue they had with it? So they wanted uh, specific, uh, like you know, what 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 about siblings? What about grandkids? Uh, you know, stuff like that. Just kind of like fleshing it out a little bit more to cover these exceptions. It, it, what I want to do is I want to I want to. I want to specify which familial relationships yes. would be disqualifying. Okay, yeah, I, I thought about that. I wasn't sure if I should go into that much detail, and um, I have a list for that to add. Okay. So, like, grandparent, uh, grandchild, no, um, right? Anything with direct uh, lineage, seem concerned with no, how to enforce, when you're enforce going really any uh, proposed laws. lateral, uh, first cousins, no. Uh, the cop was frothing at the mouth because he didn't know how he would possibly arrest someone for it. That's what he was concerned with. He was the only person. So, uh, brother, sister, first cousin, aunt, nephew, uh, or aunt, uncle, nephew, niece, grandparent, grandchild, all knows. You know, you know what would solve this problem entirely? What? If we change this from the, uh, one child policy to the, uh, the one relative policy and we just make like an all-encompassing like familial relation as opposed to simply using the word adoption right uh and we could use this as a means to uh push forward uh to to first of all stop the the rampant adoption one um that we would uh god we would need a very specific thing because there are people who are related that aren't adopted Right, so when we have something called the one relative policy, obviously that would they would be confused about that. Uh, so a better name to describe someone who is essentially adopted, uh, be it like as a brother or as a uh, sibling, or sorry, as a uh, a child or in quotes child, um, you know, shit like that. What would be a good replacement word for that? I don't know. Hmm. Like people saying you're my brother now and formalizing it versus uh, an adopting a child. So like you could you want to formalize a sibling relationship? You mean? I, what I what or, I what I want to do is I I need a a catch all for all of these different familiar relations that people might divert to. Right? I think familiar relation is pretty much the answer. Like a f one familial relation policy. Okay. Um, it's not a cool acronym, but you know what we could do is we could mm -hmm. we could define what a family is in the eyes of the state by okay. by way of saying at the beginning you know uh, uh, the state recognizes blood relatives as blood relatives and that that is the case blah 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 uh, the state will recognize um, adoptive or uh, uh, other what would we call that um what I'm thinking. Blood relatives are recognized as such in the eyes of the state. Adoptive relatives are recognized as such only with a formal certificate issued by the state. Correct. And we, we could call it like a, like a family act or some shit. Something fancier than that, obviously. <clears throat> the Family Certificate Act? Certificate of Family Act? Uh, family Certification Act? Something along those lines. Yeah. Do you think I'm, in the eyes of other counselors, do you think people are okay with me talking about shit like this with you? What do you mean? Like, do you think, uh, what would they think? You know what I think? I think based on what you just told me, we should get married as soon as possible. Yeah. 
because of the 21 days thing. Let's yeah. get that spells or privilege, and then it doesn't matter. We can't testify against each other. Yep. Uh, is there a judge around? Uh, we're married tonight? <laughs> yeah. Hold on, it's 21 days. Uh, hey, Max, are you still in that meeting? No. What's up? I don't know. Just what are you doing? You need security at all? Uh, I'm out on uh, Polito Beach with my darling right now discussing legalese. <laughs> hey, what up? Discussing legally? Is that like a sex thing? No, it's not a sex thing, Brick. Okay. Because it sounds like it might be. But okay. Um, yeah, all right. You guys do that. Is it, It's just the two of you up there? Yeah. You haven't seen Timo or anything up there? No. <clears throat> okay, that's good. By the way, he's not back in max sec yet. Okay, so you're like betting him right now? Dude. I mean, the two attempts on your life have both been him. True. <laughs> you know? So I'm just like, dude, I can't, until until the court like says he's like not guilty or something, I cannot be, he cannot be part of MaxSec. He can be in the shadows far away, still garden, he can interact with us, but he's going to need more disguises, and he's going to need, he's going to need some, a little bit of time before I let him back in. And that's why you're the head of MaxSec, Brick. Yep, and that's why it's going to get approved as a business so that I can start paying these people. That's right. <laughs> All right. That's going to happen. <laughs> Do I have to write a proposal and stuff like that for it? Um, No, man. I'll take care of it. <laughs> Yippee! All right. Bye, Max. Bye. <laughs> he knows I'm not going to do that. Um, What the fuck were we talking about? Familial Legitimacy Act. There we go. And I was saying that we should get married as soon as possible. Oh, because right. of the twenty-one days thing. Um, so there's a yeah. W w the the st we would have to get married after the act goes into place. There's no grandfathering. And does uh, the act go into effect? Uh, I think it's already in effect. Wait. Right, so that's what I'm saying. If the marriage oh. act is already passed, then we should go get married as soon as possible so we can't be forced to testify against each other in the next 21 days. Or after 21 days. Like... Uh, let's, let's at least wait until tomorrow. Uh, because the, uh... Tomorrow? Well... Really? Oh, sorry, it's Monday. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait, why did you say really? <laughs> I just thought that was very surprising to me. Wait, why? I just, I feel like I, I feel like I've, I've not, I've not seen you on Sundays. Oh, yeah. That's my gooning day. <laughs> Acceptable. <laughs> That's how I build up the big cum. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Uh, well, that's, that's that's for our betterment. I support this. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, uh, so, okay. So they're adding two different sections to the MDT. One is going to be legislation that is passed by the council and the other one's going to be a council documents page that we kind of like actively can edit and stuff while we're in meetings oh cool awesome uh and uh, crane made it sound like it was going to be coming in uh probably at tsunami when all of the electronics reset and stuff um so let's wait until it's there officially before we actually get married okay um yeah and then we can do it i'm down to do it asap I mean, I feel like we should, based on what you just shared with me hey, about Max? the fucking Hi. 21 days thing being added. Hey, um... Sorry, I should pick up the phone real quick. Uh, sorry, can we have a personal one-on-one -on -one meeting well, like, at some point like today? Right, like right now? No, right now, in a little bit. Is that okay? What's wrong? Uh, I'll tell you everything. I want to do it in person, though, just is you it, and I. Is it bad? Yeah, it's bad, but nothing you need to worry about. Is it bad for you? Um, I haven't quite decided, but I think it'll be in favor to you. If you give a shit. Is it about... I want to tell you this in person. Okay. All right, fine. I'll, I'll call you when uh, we're done going over everything. That no, no, no. L l you take your time. You do your thing. I'll let you know as soon as I, I, I free up. If, if anything, if it goes on for too long. Okay. If you'll be around later, that would be great. Um, I'll, I'll text you when I'm when I'm done. And you text me when you're done as well. Okay. All right. Okay. Appreciate you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, she said she wanted to have a one-on-one uh, -on -one talk. Juno. Juno? <clears throat> about, uh, well, not right now. About something that she does not want to say over the phone. So. <laughs> I assume. That's smart. I assume this has to do with, uh, her trappings. 
What do you mean trappings? Um, her dealings. Oh, right. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Okay, say no more. I understand. Wow. All right. I want to tingle the web we weave. Um, I need to make a state announcement. Real quick. Go ahead. I'm writing up notes on things that I need to work on for you. Mm, 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 mm. The uh, state announcement. State announce. Um. I'm afraid to make this announcement. Uh, tax changes are from the mayor's office. Tax changes are finally in, as some of you may have noticed. The values stated some uh, on the on inauguration. Inauguration. How do you spell that? Inauguration. Uh, they are currently in place. Each tax value was dropped by 20% of its uh, value. Individual tax was dropped by 20% of its uh, value at the time. Okay. Okay. Uh, next. Oh, is that a thing? Yeah. Finally. Yeah. Uh, that's not the one that I need to. Uh, that's something that I forgot to mention. Oh, that's good. Do you have another one? Yes. Hold on. Okay. Uh, 55 in city. 75 in country roads. 90 on highway. Uh... Two. Uh, regulated illusion exotic debris already announced by crane yeah I know I'm putting it all in one place for people uh, car kiss littering oh, what was the name of the actual uh Read Act. Regulated Exclusion Exotic Debris Law. Uh, carcass Littering in Los... The Los Santos Metro is now illegal. Uh... Civ Oversight Board Guidelines. In Los Santos City. It's now illegal. Uh... Civilian Oversight Board Guidelines were established uh, eight people, multiple choice ballot P 
popular vote. Uh, interviewing down to four from the council. No government workers permitted. No violent crimes. No felonies to be eligible for the board. Okay. Was that number two or number three? Let me write out the rest of it. Four, vehicle, clamp, legislation. Uh, keep your eyes peeled for the... Uh, on the public MDT viewable in City Hall for specifics on this law. Five, mutual combat law. Same as number four, specifics of this law. Very important, will also be viewable on the public MDT soon. Uh, six, Marriage Act. Pertains to the establishment of puzzle privilege and a, uh, enables a clear definition of marriage in Los Santos to be certified and recognized by the state formally. All married, in quotes, married individuals will have to uh, are entreated. Poke? Uh, sorry, I'm still writing. <clears throat> That's fine. Just making sure you didn't fall asleep. Formalize their marriage. Uh, 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 hmm. In the coming days, as the judges empowered to do so are educated on what must be done. Okay. Uh, oh, that was a long one. Uh, there's more. <laughs> In the... So, I'm not um, codified as a government marker according to the penal code. Can I run? Uh, lawyer, I, I got some justification. Or hold on, one second, yeah. one second, one second. Okay, oh wait, oh wait. Uh Boom. Done. <clears throat> um apparently you announced uh, it all. Apparently you guys are you are government workers. <laughs> okay, well I'm not listed on the murder of a government employee list. I'm not listed as a government employee according to anything that has to do with government employees kidnapping government employee. Lawyers not here. State attorney is, but defense attorneys aren't, and we don't even have state attorneys anymore. Um, um, that's only underneath kidnapping. We're not underneath murder of a government employee. You guys said so. Is, I'm is, am and I'm not. Crane said you guys are like a hybrid or some shit. I, I forget the word he used. What were we talking about? That's fine. It's probably because he shit out of that election. Was he ever a uh, a lawyer? Yes. He was. Uh, I was a paralegal for 92 days. Um, I had the first six cases I posted on the docket. The charges got dismissed on the docket, so I didn't get to go to court. I got kind of tired of that. I took six weeks off. I came back. Um, 
And Crane apparently in that time had speed run his bar license and already got elected as a judge. Wow. Yeah. He actually paralegal displainer. And then within a few short months later, he was made Chief Justice when Allison Thomas stepped down for undisclosed reasons. Oh, God damn it. No, Sebastian, now's not the time. All right. Um, why do you think that is? Anyway, uh, well, the last time that I had ran for an election, I got almost a thousand votes, so I feel like I'm pretty a sure thing if I run for an election. You got voted, you got more votes than I did. <laughs> I got over double your votes, no offense. Well, how did you do that? Um, I was your friendly neighborhood Spider Man judge. You know, people knew that they could come to me and I would be around and that I would help them and that I was a, a friendly face. Now, the first time I ran, I did not get that many votes. The second time I ran, um, I felt like that was my report card from the citizens. They must have been very pleased with me. Okay. So that's how I got so many votes, as I did my job and I did it well. I didn't even really campaign. I had a bunch of other people campaigning for me. Really? Yeah. I did most of my campaigning. <laughs> you, you did. You did a lot of your own campaigning. Um, all right, well, that's fine. L listen, I want you to remember something, okay? Yeah. Us against the world. Yeah, Th yes, yes. Um, we can't get frustrated at, at the small road bumps, okay? We can get anything passed. We just need to whip the council's votes and have plans on why each individual member would want to support their legislation catered towards that person. Exactly. I, I feel like I got a good feel for some of their uh, standings. You fucking dumb bitch! Are you okay? I'm okay, are you okay? Our car's not okay. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> It seems to happen a lot with us. <laughs> yeah, it really does. Are you, is it intentional? Is this a way to get out of work? I'm you, cool. You, 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 I'm fine. You think, you, think, you think I gotta fake a car crash to get you alone? <laughs> no. No, I'm just saying it would be a really good way to get me alone. Oh. Well, we're alone. Would you look at that? <laughs> kind, of a, kind of a big fan of this. <laughs> uh... Um... I am well, going I'm sorry to call. I got put underneath a microscope in that meeting about the Section K stuff. Yeah. This is well, Brandon. Hey, uh, Brandon, I uh, need a roadside repair, please. Uh, what's your current location? My current location is... Um, what is your, uh, your... How about you just ping me, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. What is your number? I need your number. Oh. Wait, no, wait, yeah, I need yeah. your, yeah, you need my number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my fault, my fault. 1035. God damn it. 1035. Did you get that? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm on my way. All right, um, thank you very much. Uh, the mayor appreciates your assistance. Oh, this is the, oh, shit. <laughs> uh, what were we talking about? Oh, the microscope shit. Yeah, look. Yeah. I don't think because it never went to a vote. Uh, I think I'm okay. Good. I mean, if you decided not to push it to a vote because of the concerns, then I think that's fairly obvious that you're fine and that whatever they're concerned about is is off base. Hmm. Um. Sick. I'll just have to steer away from presenting stuff like that. <laughs> Probably wasn't the best decision for me to ask you to present something like that without fully understanding it, to be honest with you. I could have done better. <laughs> I fucked up. I should have prepped you better. There was no time. Um. So, Crane suggested that you and Kay come to the next council meeting to kind of explain it? Oh, great. Good. I'm going to do a write-up in layman's terms to help them understand real estate investment trusts, um, how they help affordable housing projects, and don't take any state money 
where there's no loans or mortgages because I know that's a very big thing that we don't want state funded loan companies because they're such a fucking hellish shit show. And I have to fucking do the defaults and it's so annoying if I have spreadsheets. It's horrible. I understand why they don't want to do that. This eliminates any of that or anyone trying to do that. I thought that they would be grateful. So, uh, Crane has seen the contract, one. Uh, he had a lot of questions about it. We talked on the phone briefly. Uh, and the thing, the thing, the, he wants you guys to come to talk about the Reed stuff, but also he wants you to talk about, um, the, the business in quotes that Mr. K is running. Okay. <laughs> um, Reed is separate from, the, yeah, the, like, like two separate entities. Yeah. You know that, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure that's understood. It's a, uh. It is a concern for them now. He's kind of on their radar. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. <clears throat> so my my suggestion. Uh huh. Just don't go to the meeting with him, <laughs> and let let them sort out how they're going to regulate it. Because right now, um, I don't even know how they would tax that. I guess. Right. I, like I, income tax on I, the gains or whatever? Yeah. How, how do they track that? That's a great question. Just double checking something. Yeah, that's right. Tax evasion isn't even a charge. So technically it's fine. If you have income, you're not a clan because we don't actually care about that. thought the state would care about monies like that, but they don't. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, when's the last it's time? It's free money for the state. Yeah, when's the last time you filed your taxes here in Los Santos, though? You know, everything's kind of automatic, right? You know? Yeah, yeah, but there was, in the old Republic, a whole tax evasion thing. There was, like, actually a question. Um, okay, so in the old Republic, there was a lawyer and a mayor who were, were married, all right? Mm-hmm. And they were funneling state funds to his law firm. He got paid two hundred thousand dollars as a retainer wow. to the mayor <laughs> from state funds. Wow! Right? Uh huh. And that and, the, and none of that was tax. And they did get hit with some tax evasion -y shit. And yeah, there was it went to a whole ass impeachment trial of that mayor. Did he get impeached? I was trying to save us from that, but apparently they don't care. So w which way is it? Are they gonna have it though? Which way are they going to have it? You know what I mean? I was just trying to take action to prevent anything like that happening. That's kind of by how... By doing everything above board. That's kind of how they operate. Um, they're... They are proactive, I guess, when it comes to uh, worrying about the boogeyman that's going to hop out and be like, blah, 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 this could happen, so you shouldn't do this. <laughs> it could be very bad. Uh, Jesus Christ could come back and fucking... Do battle with the Antichrist if you if you don't write that into the law. So, uh, w w one thing that pisses me off: what's the big deal? Like, I get wanting to have regulations and stuff. I get that, but why why the hesitation to actually carry out punishment for people who abuse uh, goodwill? It's just, it's like you said with John. I Locke. am right there with you, one hundred percent. It's like you said with John Locke, with the the uh, innocent until proven guilty, like the, uh -huh. the, expect, the expectation that people are good innately. I feel like that is the way to do this. And they don't share that. It feels like they are Thomas Paine people who just assume everyone's going to be shitty, exploity little assholes, right? Yeah, G it's literally. to my core value. I know, I know. Man. I was a judge. I remember. I, I'm aware of how much I had to fight that's why My pain was on based. certain things for that matter, but um, innocent until proven guilty is the foundation of our justice system. And if they don't believe that, then they shouldn't have been a judge. Yeah. I feel like uh, some of these mother... I w oh, God. Some of the things so, you want to say. Some of them are some of them are afraid of Crane. It feels like. <laughs> I was gonna say that to you that there's gonna be a lot of fear of Crane. Malton's gonna be afraid of Crane. Nakoda probably is. There is a fear of Crane. I'm not scared of Crane. Yeah, me neither. It's fucking bullshit. <laughs> 
I mean, Crane would call me into his office sometimes and I did feel like I was getting called into the principal's office, but he didn't even know a dunk meant ass, so a he's what? old. You know, like she got dunk. Oh. See, this would be a lot easier if you were at a bar. <laughs> It'd be a lot easier. Really? Yeah. Hey, look, I, I, I understand why you did what you did. You know, I can't. Uh, I can't put the chains back on. I can't. I know. I, I understand. I, I get it. Um, I, I would not ask you to do that. I'm just kind of like wishing right now. Yeah, I understand. No, I'm not that kind of guy usually, though. You know, I, I like to focus on the present and the future. So I'm not gonna dwell on it, right? But hold on, this might be the repair guy. Oh yeah. Hello. Hello. Hey, Max. It's Raymond. How you doing today? Did you get a new phone? This is my, like, burner work phone, because I'm currently in a conflict. But yes, how you doing today? Uh, you're currently in a what? Conflict. Oh. Oh, yes. that, that's a good idea. Conflict? No, putting your real phone away while you're, uh, afraid you're going to get jumped and shit. Yeah, 100%. It's very smart. I have uh, all my people doing it. You right, never know up. with this uh, goddamn sanitation unit that, you need that we're fighting. Uh, I didn't know anything about that. Yeah. So how's it going? How are you? How are you going? I mean, I'm doing well, but I was calling you actually because I was a little bit curious about this uh, marriage act. Yeah. What is this, and does it give you tax benefits? I'm just curious. No tax benefits. Uh, and all it gives you is uh, after 21 days you'll be able to claim spousal privilege, which means you do not have to testify against your spouse. That's it. So if my if I marry my boy, like say I marry X. Right. Then I don't have to ever testify against him in the court of law. Yeah, but you 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 also are, you're essentially going to be uh, interviewed by a judge, and he's going to determine whether or she is going to determine whether or not their marriage is legitimate. <clears throat> well, how does how does one prove that the marriage is legitimate or not? Uh, well, I mean, all they have to do is look at you know arrest records to see if you guys were maybe arrested together, uh, like. Uh, going off of their own personal interactions with you. Um, look, they're going to be able to tell if people are going to try to abuse it like that. <laughs> oh, okay. So, I mean, Bonnie and Clyde, you know, they work together. They got arrested, you know, like, you yeah, know, I get know. it. I get it. But, you know, I mean, have you been arrested before? Yes, many times. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. It, like, the way that it, I envision it is they're going to ask you, you know, questions about each other and whatnot to make sure that you're actually... You know, going to get married because you love each other and not because you want uh, judicial immunity. <laughs> so you're saying they need proof of us making love. All right, I'll talk to X about that. Right, anyway, Max, uh, beside that, um, what about this number five? Uh, it says, what is it? Something about the combat? Mutual combat. Mutual law. combat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, what the hell is that? So, information will be posted on that in the uh, the the public MDT soon, the one that you can see at the city hall. Uh, uh -huh. Essentially, what it's going to be is a, a judge will be able to summon a um, medical worker to witness a mutual uh, combat, aka a duel. Um, and what? It, yeah, it has it has no, um, like any any agreements that would be made beforehand. Like you know, if you win this, then X, or like if you win this, then I get this, or blah blah blah. That's all going to be between the, the people doing combat. There's nothing that we promise to uphold or anything like that. Just it's kind of oh. kind of a, a way for people to legally beat the shit out of each other if they want to. I guess I like that. But is there like a limitation to the weapon that you can use? Um, it'll be in the courthouse, so I think it's gonna be hand to hand. I see. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah. I can beat the shit out of someone. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Legally. Legally. <laughs> That's amazing. All right. <laughs> Max, you know what? You have proven yourself as a mayor I'd vote for for life. How do we enact you uh, to be mayor for life? Uh, <laughs> man, I had some trouble today talking to... Uh, the board, the council, about some of the things that I want to get past. Why is that? Uh, I was getting some pushback on, um, what's it called? Taxes? Peer pardoning. 
uh, we call it peer pardoning, i.e. the mayor has the ability to pardon anybody. You know, a thing that has been the case uh, in every every single fucking mayorship except for mine. Uh, they decided that now is the time to kind of be like, hey, uh, that could be abused, so I don't think I... I don't think I want to give you that power. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're, you're telling me that every mayor in the past had the ability to pardon Siobhan, other people? Siobhan, did yeah. every other mayor had the ability to pardon, right? Yep. Okay, yeah, no, I'm the first one that doesn't, apparently. Uh, in, in the None of them sense. abused it ever either, by the way, so. None of them ever Why abused it? the hell did I never know? I had so many friends that were mayors. So what, what do you really mean by pardon? Like, that's a concern record? that seems really unfounded. Okay, uh, I will definitely bring that up. Uh, are you are you positive about that, Siobhan? A hundred percent positive. Okay, I, I'm a, not that I, I doubt you, darling, but I, I that gives me an idea to, to call like Andy and shit and figure out like what the uh, the lay of the land is. Cause, you know, five years is a long time and shit, so maybe we are forgetting. Some. Anyway, what'd you say, right? Yeah. I said. I trying to remember what I said. Oh, I said, does that mean that like it erase, expunges your record? Um. What? What if, someone, if you were if you were to pardon someone, does that expunge your record? Oh, okay. So, I, initially, I wanted to in, in, in the I wanted to make it so that uh, the crimes that they were being pardoned of would be expunged, or they would uh, the way the wording was that they would be sealed. Um, that's that was my vision for it at first. It sounds like the council wants to go to a vote, uh, or rather, they want to be able to vote on uh, someone's pardon. Uh, and it would be like the mayor's duty to kind of like advocate for them to the council or whoever is going to be voting on it. Uh, that, so you you would bring the name to the the council they vote on, okay. right? Uh, I don't want that. <laughs> uh, I think I think uh, as the the elected mayor of Los Santos that uh, I was probably voted in for a reason, and that's that I represent the best interest of the people of Los Santos, and I, I, I am mm -hmm. I'm essentially their advocate on the council. Uh, so I should have the ability to uh, provide a check and balance to, you know, maybe someone getting super fucked judicially or by the police officers or whatever. That's well said. Um, but yeah, I'm yeah. Sorry, I'm just rambling. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just no, rambling too. No, good, right. <laughs> no, no, no. That's, that's, that's well said. Bro, I understand. I mean, I, I completely agree. Uh, knowing that it was never abused in the past definitely is good for me. So. Well, yeah, Ray, I gotta go. I I, I got a uh, repair guy right here. Uh, I kind of crashed out on the side of the highway, and I got I should talk to him. All right. Well, Max, you have a good rest of the night. Hey, uh, I was talking to X and the the company members. I know we're in the conflict, but they did want to have a meeting with you. The company did. Yeah, the company wants to have a meeting. Not today, but maybe tomorrow or something. Um. Okay. Sounds good. All right. All right, Max. I'll, I'll keep you in, in informed. All right. You you have a good rest of your day. Okay. Love you, Ray. Love you too. Bye bye. Uh, Ray, second, second phone. <sighs> Sorry, uh, Brandon, right? God yeah, damn it! Nice to meet you, Mr. Mayor. Quite the fucking honor. I'm, I'm in shock right now, actually. I'm in shock, I'm just a guy, man. Yeah, but you're a very, very, you know, popular guy, you know, high stature. I'm just a guy, I think. <laughs> Alright, well, we have a problem here, uh, Mr. Mayor. What's wrong? Your serpentine belt broke on your car, so therefore the alternator hasn't been charging the battery. You've been riding on the juice of your battery the whole time. That's oh. why she cut out like that. Oh, well, I mean, I assumed it was the uh, head-on collision at 100 miles an hour. No, that, I mean, <laughs> that probably snapped the belt. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, there was a, someone driving it in the, on the wrong fucking side of the road. Yeah, that's Los Santos. Yeah, so what's up? What, 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 what do you so, think? Good thing is, you know, I, I have a spare belt in my car. I can fix it, right? And then, we, you know, we could jump your battery and get you back on the road. Uh, but I was telling, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Siobhan? I was telling Miss Siobhan here, you know, we recently got a bad shipment of parts, you know, to do me our off. tool, like our roadside work. So I don't know if it's going to work properly, but we'll, we'll give it a shot. Okay. Sounds good. All right. What's your, what's your uh, price quote? You know, for you, Mr. Mayor, I'll do it for $150. $150? Yeah. That's very generous. It's just, it's just a fucking belt in the jump. What do you, what do you want me to do? <laughs> I mean, That's for you, Mr. Mayor, prices. Two, $2,000. No, $150 is perfect. No, I'm not, I'm not like, mad. I, I was like, please buy it. 
Oh, okay. Just mm -hmm. give me a second here. Let me put this belt on. Can uh, you pop the hood for me? Oh, I sure can. See, I was going to tip that guy. I was going to give him 200 bucks if it was 100, which it's supposed to be. And we know that. But now he doesn't get a tip for trying to rip us off. <laughs> Looks like we got stranded in the barrens. The, what's the barrens? Like like a barren wasteland? <laughs> uh, here, here, here's, here's what I'm going to tell you, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, why do they call it an Xbox 360? Because mm. when you see it, you turn 360 degrees and walk away. That kind of barrens. Oh. No, I still don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Azeroth? Mm. Oh, yeah, that's right. You don't play nerdy in video games like World of Warcraft. That's right. Just RuneScape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, RuneScape's not nerdy. It's cool. Where a specific mini game is your favorite game of all time you claimed in the courtroom at one point. But you don't play games and do nerdy things like that. No, I don't. I like, uh -huh. RuneScape is a way of life. It's not a game. <laughs> it's, a way of, it's a way of freaking life. I'm sorry, you're saying RuneScape is a lifestyle? Yeah. Well, I apologize. I would never want to insult your lifestyle. Yeah, what are you, anti... Anti-Rune... Uh, Anti-scape? <laughs> no, I'm not anti-scape of any kind. I'm going to make you make I'm an account. I'm pro-scapes. I have an account. You have one? Yeah. Yeah, but what, what's your maximum skill level, though? Um, I don't know. I just do the one, um, uh, like, jungle gym event every year, and I just... I just do that, and I just spam the obstacle course to get, like, the agility or whatever it is, and I just oh. run through the... Can you do me a huge favor? Yeah, what's up? I'm going to give you keys to my rental. Just sure. give me a little juice when I tell you to give me a little juice, all right? All right, sounds but good. But don't, don't, yeah, don't squish me, please. Okay, I won't. I'm going to be in what they call the dead zone. Um, you want me to hop in for... Oh, I got him, hey, I got him, yeah, I got him. All right, let's give this a shot. Go ahead and give me some juice. Oh, sorry. The car. There you go. Hey. Hold the brake. Ah! Oh, fuck! No, no, come on. You can do it, Mr. Mayor. Come on. Yeah. You can do it. I believe. Not too much. Not too much. Is it broken? Hold on, we're gonna try again. All right, just let the engine idle. We got enough juice, I think. Okay. Fuck, I'm gonna kill me. What were you saying, darling? Jungle gym. Uh, yeah, you know, just like the the like you you run around in a little obstacle course, and and you can get you can get really good skill level that way by doing it. So is that all you ever did was agility? No, I also fished. You ever kill anything? Um, maybe like two things. Was it one? Was one of them a cow? <laughs> no, it was some bunch of stuff in a church, and they were evil. I don't remember exactly. Oh, it was a long time ago. Do get, you remember what I'm talking about? Uh, getting to Mortania, maybe. Maybe did church. You, was one of them evil a dog? things? A dog. I feel right. like I probably did kill wild dogs. So, uh, just as I suspected, my toolbox is still fucked up. Uh-oh. But, ow. Uh, but what I can do... Fuck. How busy are you, Mr. Man? Not busy. I mean, I'm just kind of shooting the shit. We had a long council meeting today, so I'm kind of chilling. Getting some R&R. &R. Yep. I right, so what, what I could do... Is I could call the tow truck down here, they could put you on the sled, and they can bring you to the shop, and then I can actually work on it. Sure, sounds good. All right, All right. give me one second. Sounds good. This is Brandon. So there's a there's a quest in RuneScape. It's called Priest in Peril. Okay. Okay. And there is a uh, 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 between Varrock and Mortania is a temple where a uh, a cult has a cult of Zamorak has taken over this place and below can i kill a bunch of cultists that's it that's it that's the one are you sure yeah um because it's it's a pretty hard one to do at low skill levels so well i was i wasn't completely low oh 
don't remember. Like, it was a really long time ago. I'm trying to recall the details. This is like something that's in the. I was really high yeah. then. Yeah. So the details are a little. Fi- they're a little hazy on that. You're, yeah, you're, yeah, was, you're bad, mad, big chilling, fucking smoking and scaping. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know, like one gram bong hits and one hit. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, my lungs, I, they hurt just thinking about it. Yeah, big chilling. Man. But yeah, that was it. That was the win. It was priests and perils. I had to kill these dirty cultists in a church. Had infected it. Man. What a great game. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck me. Hi, Brandon. This is not good. This is not good. Wait, he didn't detach the jumper cables. Minus one! Okay, my, my nerdiest thing is probably that um, I know where every key is in every single temple in Ocarina of Time. Nerd! What is Ocarina of Time? Zelda Ocarina of Time for Nintendo 64? Oh, I know Zelda. Is that like uh, Pokemon? I'm... I, n no. Uh. No, no, Z Zelda? The water temple? Uh. <laughs> Epona? Uh. It's been nothing to you. No. Uh. <laughs> uh, 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 RuneScape, you could, you, you knew the name of the quest, but you don't mm. know. It's a better game. It's the better game. <laughs> um... <laughs> My my glitchless speed run Bar in Ocarina of Time was three hours and forty eight minutes. So I'm kind of upset to hear you say this. You speed ran. Glitchless. Homeschool. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I called it. What did I? What did I? What did I tell? What did I tell my dad? It was. I told him that I was learning. Um, I told him I, it was PE time, for so. reaction times. That's right. Ooh, wait. That's. I mean, that's a good. Uh... A good thing. The U.S. military uses video games to train like their their pilots and shit like that. And they also so use, they I also use so. it to indoctrinate them. You ever hear of a game called America's Army? No, I know about war games. What's American Army? What Amer was that? It's called America's Army. What is that? Uh, it was a uh, tactical shooter, and I, you know, I, you know, I'm, I know more about PC games than you know. The Pokemans and the Zeldas and the Mirios. And the, the console games. Yeah, the poor people stuff. Yeah, console games are for poor, so that's true. But they mm. weren't in their 90s. I'm right Maybe. outside of you two. They're expensive. Consoles are expensive yeah. and console games are expensive. You know what I was buying in the 90s? What? My first house. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, yep. I just uh, need you fast and pronto if you can help me, please. Oh. Right. oh he's not talking to us. Okay. Nope. First house. All right, I got a tow truck on the way. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit of a. What did you sell it for? You know, I bought it for eighty thousand. Sold it for six hundred thousand. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, you know how it is, bro. Born at the right place in the right time, baby. <laughs> must have been, must have been real nice. <laughs> I I just missed it being born in eighty five. Just missed it. Mm -hmm. Man, you're young. I'm not that young, there you right? Are. Our, our, our relationship's not, I'm not young enough where it's creepy, okay? You're not like a cradle robber, and I'm not a grave robber. Yeah, it's because you're 40, though. Like, if you were in your 30s, it would be creepy, right? <laughs> um, if it was in my young, my, like, early 30s, that yeah, would be creepy. Or late 20s, oh, that would be creepier. Brandon, do you think it's creepy that I'm, I am, I'm engaged to this woman, and she is, uh, 15 years younger than me? 14. 14? Well, it depends how old both of you are. I'm 40. 54. Okay, so you guys are both like you know at that stage of life where I don't I don't think it really you know you guys both know what you want right Yeah, I know what I want, dog. Did you want to be mayor? Uh, absolutely. Hey, you fixed it! Oh shit! Hooray! You did it! Hooray! Let's, let's, I told you yeah, to just believe in yourself. See if it uh, see if it works. All right. Let's go find out. Thank you, sir. I'm always paranoid they're gonna fucking yoink oh, my turbo. Wait, uh, I'm gonna just. Mm. Just wanted to. Just wanted to um, I test my favorite seat. I can't get in. I'll go to the side. I can't get in. Oh, put me in. Put me in. I put you in? Okay, let me just let me just assist you, you old man. 
Help me. <laughs> All right, let me help. just just put you in this car. Just I'm go so, ahead. I'm gonna help you out. So your, did, your knees are just strained from being in that meeting sitting down for so long. My car is sliding very suspiciously. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. We did it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Brandon. I appreciate yeah, it. No worries. You're amazing. You guys didn't think you'd give me a call, all right? I will, man. I see. I feel like I definitely should have awarded him something. Like what? I don't know. A uh, uh, gold star. Well, I mean, we we gave, we gave him the capitalist award. <laughs> True. Hard. Cold, he probably hard prefers cash. hard. <laughs> he probably prefers hard, cold hard cash. That guy ripped me off, by the way. What? I I I, uh, I paid for a roadside uh, for a hundred dollars the other day, so. Uh, I was gonna give him 200, just like I gave the guy who tried to charge me 100, but, you know, tried to tried to get some extra cash from me, so. I was like, you know what? No tip for you, bruh. No tip for you, bruh. bruh I mean, bruh. if they don't give good service, that's the American way, right? The you you gotta do what, good the ser service to get service, tip. The service was good, it's just he fucking lied to me. <laughs> I mean, I, it doesn't matter, I, I don't know, I consider that part of the service. It's it's like a bedside manner type thing, you know? Right. You lie to me, fuck you. Also, speed limit 95 now on the highway? Fucking love that. Ugh. Yo. Yup. Such a good decision. Oh my god, it's raining. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure this SUV is over 6,000 pounds. Uh, like, what it's makes a you say big that? vehicle. That's a big, heavy vehicle. Oh, why do you say that, though? Why? Why Why that in particular? Yeah. I don't know. I was just thinking about how car uh, vehicles over 6,000 pounds get a tax credit. Oh. Of, like, $5,000 for some stupid reason. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Like, Pretty much, I, they, honestly, America loves their gas guzzlers. Do you think it's because uh, they usually transport stuff? Yeah. I honestly think it's just America loves gas guzzlers. Who doesn't? Um, Europe. Well, that's why they drive their pussy ass electric cars. I mean, a lot of them drive sticks. Yeah, because they're poor and they can't afford a new car. <laughs> well, that's true. Yeah, yeah. We're going to Mosley's to make sure this guy didn't yoink my fucking uh, parts. Steal your catalytic converter. Yeah, no, or the, I'm worried about the fucking turbo. Did I tell you I bought a new turbo? Wait, you got a new one? Yeah, I got a second one. This one is twice, twice the diameter of the other one. Oh my god. At least Can I think get I, faster than 150. Uh, it goes up to 151. There's like a, it can't go, it physically cannot go faster than that. But the, right. the, the difference is the way that it accelerates mainly. Ooh, okay. Is it like pure torque or what? It doesn't feel like I'm driving an SUV anymore. That's what it feels like. <laughs> feels like I'm driving a fucking race car. So I have, I have court on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, what for? Uh, um, Tuesday is the uh, Murphy case to help draw me out, and right. Monday is. Uh, Monday is Damien Tinkerman's wrongful towing case, a civil action. Oh. Oh, that's his last name? Yeah, Damien Tinkerman. Oh. Hi, Timo. Hello. Oh, hi, Timo. Are there, is there a mechanic here? I don't know. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm working security. Front. Hey, how's it going, Timo? How you doing, dog? I'm holding up. Got things to do while I'm on bail. Can't hit man anyone. As of right now, I wanted to start contracts, but I'm not allowed to kill anyone. Right. Shouldn't be killing. Uh, shouldn't be killing anyway, right, Timo? <laughs> right. Wink. Right. Yeah, wink. wink. Ah. <laughs> uh, I.